still yeah, funny. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is Michael Jordan on Oprah. <laughs> this is crazy. It just it's such a stroke fest. It's nuts. You can turn it on and, and listen to him and uh, introduce him. Yeah. MJ's in the house. <laughs> hey, this young lady, this young lady. We came in Chicago about the same time. Right? Yes, we did. Yeah, we did. I came in in 1984. I think you came in 1984. 1984. You have done wonders for me. I know you've been a fan of basketball, but I've been a fan of yours. Oh. MJ! <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson? <laughs> now, this is uh, uh, I'll put, what I'll play here in just a second. This is a clip of Oprah Winfrey uh, screaming the names of her guests like she does every time. And it's absolutely hilarious. I could take no credit for it because it's just uh, something that's floating around the web. But I'd love to say we put it together. Uh, Derek takes the piss out of her all the time for this very thing, as a matter of fact. <laughs> so uh, have a listen. This is um, oh. this is Oprah. <laughs> it's a montage! Two... <laughs> it is a montage of her yelling guest names. Let's bring them out. Nicole Kidman! Oscar nominee, Kate Hudson! Yay! Ariane Cozier! Please welcome our favorite, Urban Cowboy, John Travolta! <laughs> Please welcome my dear friend, John Travolta! <laughs> A screaming wench. The vision herself, Mariah Carey. Mariah! <laughs> <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Come on out, Beyonce. <laughs> Avril Lavigne. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I had a Tom Cruise. <laughs> Come on out, Stephanie Meyer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Seth Medler. <laughs> Please welcome Julia Roberts. <laughs> My dear, delightful friend, Julia Roberts. <laughs> Friends, please welcome Jennifer Aniston, Courtney oh. Cox, Janet Miller, Lisa Kudrow, and Matt LeBlanc. Please welcome Dakota Fanning. Please welcome John Kennedy. <laughs> please welcome Josh. It was about a year and a half ago when I first yeah. met Madonna. <laughs> Here are the four guys who give love a bad name. Bon Jovi! <laughs> Together again, please welcome Johnny and Marie! <laughs> Come on out, Jay-Z! <laughs> Ms. Barbara Strike. <laughs> Miley Cyrus! <laughs> the Lyle! <laughs> <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio, Jim Carrey, Johnny Depp, Robert Downey, Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> Downey, she sounds like Sorry. a deaf lady. Please <laughs> welcome Julia Roberts, Marty Dyer, Marty Dyer. My big friend, Don Tobolto. <laughs> I'm going to go Madonna. Madonna. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Donnie and my wife. <laughs> she does. She does totally deaf. Yeah. <laughs> Please welcome Kate Hudson. <laughs> Who's that? Me? Mamaya Kami. <laughs> Jason! <laughs> welcome, Jason! Dick Gyllenhaal! <laughs> That's when she sounds the most deaf and retarded. Dick <laughs> <Take> Gyllenhaal! <laughs> Nicole Kimmel! <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Bat Midler. <laughs> I hope she rests in peace. No, she's not. No, man, she's just quitting. She's not dead. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
That's too bad. <laughs> I agree with you. Guess who's here, everybody? <laughs> 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 Oh, you ain't getting it. Oh, you ain't Oh, you ain't it. She's freaking us out. <laughs> Especially there. Yeah. Psychic Nikki's here. Good morning. You freaked us out when you Good got morning. here because you said you uh, you had a challenge. Yes, I do. What's your challenge? My challenge is to Harold Camping in California. The dude that, that, was, that tried to convince everybody the end of the world was uh, coming on it, the weekend? Exactly. What's your challenge? Well, you know what? I'm seeing the end. Of, I'm seeing really catastrophic events happening by the end of 2012. Who can who can control their incontinence the best? Uh, well, I got a thong on today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's that? Oh, <laughs> where'd you get it? Uh, from Victoria's Secret, oh, and, and also Queen Victoria's Secret. No, no, thanks <laughs> <laughs> a lot, guys. And, and you know what? All your gals wear thongs, and I got a Brazilian wax <laughs> in, oh, <laughs> in Oshawa. Oh, oh, I wonder how much wax they needed. Oh, <laughs> that's so sick. <laughs> it's not. That sucks, is what it does. Not suck. Hey, show hearing, us. hearing that sucks. Hey, show us. Yeah. Let me see. Show ya. My thong? Let me see the. That, uh, let that, me see the gooch. That wouldn't be polite. I wouldn't let show me see my the gooch. Smooth to you old guys. lady gooch. It's not an old lady gooch. Okay. What is it? Oh, man. It's not it's old lady, lady gooch. gooches. Don't even have gooches. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what a gooch is? Uh, I think so. It's a kazif. Kazif. Yeah. It's a piece of skin between the front and the back and down there. Oh, yeah. Because if it wasn't there, your guts would fall out. No, no, you're wrong. I'm tight. That did not happen. Wow. Oh. Erase that from your eyes. Erase And I'm standing up for all these women out there. There is no amount of bleach for my ear holes right now. I'm standing up for all women. Young, old, and indifferent. Right. Like it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Go ahead. Anyway. Ugh. I will say this, folks. Yeah, yeah. Not long ago, and I'm trying to remember when. I think it might have been the winter or the fall. Uh, wow. This woman here predicted a massive tornado would go through Missouri. And I want to even say, she said Joplin, and I'm not kidding you, because I remember having a Janice Joplin conversation with you yes. about the tornado. And I'm like, would she be pissed if they took the name? And blah, 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 blah. Anyway, that, that that I have to give you credit. You you blew my mind this weekend. I didn't say a word to these guys. I was waiting for you to show up on Wednesday, but uh, well done. Thank you. You're welcome. And also, if people want to verify this, it's on my 2009 prediction. We just prediction. did. I just, just did. did. We don't okay. need to. Okay. No. We just did. Okay. You don't need to. Okay. okay. Also, I said Paul McCartney would marry, and there would be a Can royal... we stick with the the, the, the job? Yeah, let's oh, talk yeah, about this for a second. Yeah. So, yeah, because Paul McCartney can't marry and doesn't. <laughs> Yeah. And I in the same, you know. Okay. Uh, but but it, 1,500 people missing, they said. That's terrible. Do you, do you, what's the death toll going to be? I think it's going to be far over that amount. Really? Yeah. And I really feel there'll be more tornadoes. And uh, Like that bad? Yes. And as we get into 2012, large tornadoes, big, big ones, ones yeah, everywhere. Really yeah. okay, now, now, let me ask you this. And I'm, I'm being very serious when I when I, when I I ask you because I'm, I'm actually, you know, I, I, I revere your information at times because... It's very accurate. But you said there would be these massive storms, like the worst storm season ever. And it would be this summer, and it would be in the United States, and up in here as well. Right. And this was done in the March 11th. No, we know. We just, oh, 2000. I'm just asking we're, we're, you about yeah. it. How, is it, is it going to get... What are we going to see here that, that, that they're seeing in the United States? Well, are we know, gonna... I feel there'll be a tornado here again. I keep on feeling it, yeah. and I dreamt about it, and it could be in the same area it was last, and maybe... Which was Barry. where? Barry? Well, I'm getting Barry, Grand Valley, um, Woodbridge area. We could see yeah, even you did a twister that. over the lake too. Really, yeah. dude. The other day it was pretty daunting. It looked like something might happen. It was just a, it was just a storm. But turns out still. Todd just had sunglasses on. <laughs> yeah, it's sure dark out there. <laughs> And, and this is and it was night. Yeah. This is part of the I don't want to scare people, but no, it's part you're... of the two thousand and twelve thing. Now this Harold Camping in California who predicted the world Is he a end. quack? I don't know about that. I'm not gonna say that, but you know what? The world is not gonna end yet. It's gonna end on October eleventh, two thousand and eighteen. Can we okay, can okay. you just qualify yeah. that, please? Yeah. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. 
Not everybody's going to die. No. Okay, explain the end of the world then. Okay, catastrophic events, uh, nuclear war with a with a, another like a Middle Eastern country or That's something never like good. that. It's in the it's in the Bible. If he wants to go back to the Bible, Armageddon would start in the Middle East. Gog and Magog. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah, but I, you know, I don't. I can't believe you know that stuff. I know I can't. That's fantastic. Gog is China. Magog is actually Russia. They meet in the Middle East, and apparently, there's supposed to be some massive nuclear. Exactly. No, I don't see the world ending October 21st, like he said. But there could be catastrophic events. No, I did say the the uh, the volcano in Iceland would re-erupt. It did. Yep. And he might have seen he might have seen that, but he's not a psychic. You know, he's a minister. Yeah, he's and, an old quack and, like you, though. You'd have that in common. Would you hit oh, it? Thanks a lot. Would you hit no. it? <laughs> would no. you hit it? No, I think he's had facial surgery too. Well, I don't know because he's that. ninety years old and his face looks pretty. No, good. it's pretty gross. All right, yeah, it might but, be your eyes. No, now anyway, like two thousand and twelve, Nostradamus and the Mayans said the world would end December twenty first, two thousand and twelve. Now I don't see that happening. Okay, the world is not going to end, but the world may have certain changes. Like catastrophic, like like the one we saw in, Jan- in Joplin, Missouri. Yeah, like more like of the that. tsunami in Japan. Exactly. That kind of more so of many. Yeah, there's so many natural disasters. <laughs> Dude, the he, flooding in Winnipeg, the flooding yeah. in Quebec. Right. The whole of town Missouri. burned down. I know. Slave Lake burned down. That, and I said something about Slave Lake too right, last right, year. I don't think but true. but I did, Derek. <laughs> anyway, um, what I what I'm saying is, that I was almost going to say, I believe she did. <laughs> you know, but that yeah. was too funny. The, the only thing that true. I'm concerned about, okay, the world is not going to end yet, but the world yeah. is getting older, okay? And because it's <gasps> year getting, by year. Year by year. Yeah. And it's getting so old that the core of the earth, if you go to the center of the earth or inside, it's all, de- it's going down. It's not good. Oh, it's like uh, it, it's, it's like old lady guts. They just don't work the same. That's right. Yeah. Like it's all coming down, okay? <laughs> it used to be so volatile. <laughs> The wor- right, and, and what? Well, the world needs geology that. explained by Todd Shapiro. <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's like old lady guts. <laughs> no, right? no, going no. down. Let me quote it: "The world needs diapers." No, no. The co- there was a there was a movie called Journey to the Center of the Earth. Yeah. Okay, to the core, and in there, it's getting old, and that's what's creating the core. All of that this. movie, you know, with that the guy movie from just said, Batman. Yeah. It was terrible. <laughs> Hillary Swain. It, it's um, just so you know, the, the uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth included, like, a. it didn't really have the Earth's core. It just had a whole bunch of anti-gravity stuff in it, and people were walking around. And... Right, but the core of the Earth mm-hmm. is getting old, like I said. Yeah. And yeah. so, yeah. therefore, it's creating all this disastrous weather. So the Earth is off its axis a little bit more, and by the end of 2012, it's going to fall a little bit more. It's going to tilt more. Mm. And then there could be explosions on the moon and the sun. Wow. From solar flares, but it doesn't mean the end of the world's here. Well, you just said it was. You said you know you said uh, October twenty eighteen, October eleventh two thousand and eighteen. Something catastrophic, really big happening. But, but we're so going to be have fine here in Toronto. Right? Like, this is going to be cool. We're going to be cool here. Yeah. Um, the Great Lakes may split apart. Oh, well, that'd and, be interesting. And also Something. the California, like I'm getting activity near the San Andreas Fault right now. Mm. Hey, more so importantly, do you know who would really appreciate that? Who's what? that? Schwarzenegger. Oh, yes. Huh? Exactly. A distraction? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. California <laughs> fell into the ocean. <laughs> I'm off the hook. <laughs> exactly. Except hey. a shark might eat him. Weird. Yeah. Um, can you explain all the damn black flies? The black flies? Yeah. Well, you have to use spray for that. Uh, they're not using protection. <laughs> yeah. A black. There's more black flies because of the wet weather. That's what it is. Once I went up north to Lake Russell. Wow, good for you. Yeah, Russell. 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 What if, what if the Lake Russell? <laughs> and Lake Joseph. Yeah, right. <laughs> Lake Russell. Lake Joseph, that's it. <laughs> and yeah. honestly, I got bitten by black flies like you wouldn't believe, and I think it was my perfume. Yeah. Right. Oh, I, yeah, but yeah. the black flies in wet weather will come up like that, and mosquitoes are going to be really bad this year. Might have been the fact that she's a big white chick. <laughs> so I don't want people to get scared. <laughs> what? Big, you know, like the more more spaces to land on. Yeah, you're yeah. white, so you're a yeah. beacon. That's kind of what I was thinking, sort of. I guess I wasn't a big fat white chick then. I don't know. Uh, I was ever? a skinny chick. Well, sorry. <laughs> anyway, Did you have a big booty. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. there you go. I'm proud of my booty. <laughs> yeah, she's wearing a thong today, dude. <laughs> and it's pink. <laughs> yeah, dude, he'd be huge up north right now. 
<laughs> what, with the black flies? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Because <laughs> you're perfumed. I smell yep. your perfume. Yeah. You're very white, so you're a beacon. Yeah. You a little junk yeah, they called time. me Snow White when I was little. Oh, well. Open yeah. black fly season. <laughs> anyway, um, I did say there would be a sex scandal in Washington. Yeah. And there's two of them. Where? I also said a golfer would Where die. are the ones in Washington? The ones in Washington, well, it yeah. is Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah, is in Washington. Sorry, no. excuse me, no. excuse me. No. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. Schwarzenegger. That's right. You're right. And, and he may be in trouble along with his brother, Schwarzenegger. Right. <laughs> and, and what's the other scandal in, in Washington? The head of the monetary fund lived in Washington. IMF. Yeah. Yes. Well, it happened in New exactly. York. Exactly. IMF. They, all those politicians are in Washington. Okay. They may live wow. in L.A., but they go to Washington. <laughs> all On politicians airplanes. are yeah. in Washington. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> the tea is in my mug. Now, also, this Water is, is in the ocean. <laughs> now, there's going to be an influx of birds flying into the cities. Like, you know the movie The Birds? Alfred Hitchcock? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a big influx of that, too. And I'm Looking for work? No, because of this global warming oh. and everything. And also, I said deers would come into the city and deer. they have... Yeah? Deer. Deer. And moose. And what about gooses? Gooses, too. Dude, Dean read a story about an angry beaver in a city yesterday. Oh, and you did? terrorized some neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Angry beaver and he got in a fight with a German shepherd. It was all bloody. There's yeah. a bloody beaver trail leading oh, out of town. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. Yep. Well, see, they're all getting mad. And, dude, you know, uh, a friend yeah. of mine, mm -hmm. um, friend, friends of ours, live in uh, Thornhill, have a big property in Thornhill, and uh, they, they, uh, they heard like a coyote, a couple of coyotes killing these dogs. Oh, yeah, they do. They're like these eat. big, massive coyotes. Really? In town, yeah. What are you doing? I'm just getting my predictions. <laughs> Sound effects. That you should have named the coyote Wiley. <laughs> or ugly. Yeah, coyotes, eat, <laughs> coyotes are eating cats, dogs. They'll eat anything. They'll what happens eat, up where my They'll even eat humans, time. too. Well, give them the chance. Yeah, they would, you know? Um, so, you know, all this is happening, but I don't want people to get scared. You know, because... Uh, I'm more scared of your thong, to be honest. Why? I thought men like thongs. Yeah, we do. In the summer, women wear thongs at the well, beach. Well, it depends on who's wearing exactly. them, to be honest with you. <laughs> You've never seen my thong, so how can you comment? Well, that's why I don't want to see it. Oh, okay. Okay. I can say that without any, without any reservation, that I think it's probably best to leave your pants on. Really? Yeah. Today. All right. Are we doing more predictions or yes, talking we, about your thoughts? No, we've got more predictions. There. Where are you going? Why are you reaching down? We're going to take a break. Out a we'll let chicken. you get your stuff together okay. here. Uh, do some more predictions. Take some of your phone calls. 416 870 Edge, 870 Unreal. Turns around, picks something up. She's still talking on the radio like this. No, I'm going to do some more of those. And she has her shopping cart here, too. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, you brought your shopping cart. We're home. <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show on the edge. Psychic Mickey's here. Good morning. Good morning. I was just on my Twitter, and uh, someone said, we're being mean to you. Boo. That's what some girl said. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. What about the whole thong and bikini thing? Yeah, and, and, and being white Brazilian. Waxing and, yeah. You know what? There's a lot of women out there that wear thongs, and they're not 20. Yeah, but there's they're also cougars. a lot who aren't 90 who do. Well, I'm a cougar, so. <laughs> yeah, good one. <laughs> You're like a cougar's skeleton. <laughs> no, I am not, guys. <laughs> a cougar's You're skeleton. A cougar. You're a cougar's mom. Yeah. <laughs> I am not a cougar's mom. Grandma? Nope. Hi, The Edge. Hello? Hey, dude. Hey. Brutal phone. Hey. Sorry, man. Hi, The Edge. <laughs> it's calling hey. from the grave. Hey. Yeah, what's your question? Uh, I'm getting married in a month. Don't. You got any advice? Yeah, I do. You don't need a psychic for this. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it? Dude, it blows. It so blows. You, you, it sucks. You, you got you to gotta tell someone you're going all the time, and you're never right, and it, everything changes. Dude, don't do it. Whatever you do, stay away. Tell her you're sick or you got a brain tumor or something. Just tell her you're out. Oh, she's a good girl, though. No. Now she is. <laughs> <laughs> Even Seinfeld felt that way on that clip he uh, yeah, plays on the yeah. Oprah that we've been playing all morning. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, yeah, something that you say to her now means something totally different the day after you get married. Like, have you seen my comb? Do you use a comb? Do I use a comb? Yeah. No. Okay. Do you, do you use gel? Uh, sometimes, yeah. He's like, hey, where's my gel? She's like, well, I didn't take it. Before you get married, <laughs> yes. it's, I don't know, babe, let me help you find it. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Everything's an accusation after you get married, dude. It, your life is going to blow. How old are you? 28. 28? Yeah. How old is she? Uh, 29. Next month you're getting married? Yeah. She just wants a wedding. That's all chicks want. They just want a wedding. That's a fun ordeal, but it's going to happen. So. You're right. going to marry a woman with a dog in the future, and there's going to be one divorce. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. You're going to get a divorce at some point. She just said it. I don't want to hear that. Well, dude, well, yeah, I don't you can't can you can the psychic. <laughs> <laughs> Does she have a dog or not? No. Well, then that's not her. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, just you know what you do? You skip the one step. You go and find uh, a chick with a dog, so you don't have to get a divorce. You can you can actually change your future, can't you? He can. Well, not if we really. give him the right information, he can change his future. Um, to an extent. Okay, let's say he went out and bought a dog. But there yeah. might be another woman five years from now, ten years from now, with a dog, too. No, I'm saying, oh. don't get married to this girl. Go find the chick with the dog now. Oh, but he loves this one right now. It doesn't matter what's, what he loves. Yeah. It matters that you do what's right, sir. Well, we want to get a dog. Oh, do you? Oh, you do. Well, then that's her. Beginning of oh, the end. yeah. So maybe you're going to renew your wedding vows then. Yeah. You'll be married more than once, but that wouldn't be a divorce, and I'm getting a divorce. Jeez. Sorry about that. <laughs> Dude, just do that to everyone today. Be the cynical psychic. That, you should be the cynical psychic today. Everyone who calls in for good news, give them all bad news. No, actually, hey, poor bastards getting married a month. I'm riding them, telling them, don't, it's stupid. And, then and she goes, nope, you're getting a divorce. <laughs> Guy's not even married. <laughs> Crapping on the dream. And he's totally in love right now, too. Awesome. Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah, but the wedding's going to go smoothly. <laughs> Oh, great. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be fine. Don't worry. Uh, I see a Lori in your future anyway. I think he's gone. Oh, no, he's totally yeah. gone. Yeah. yeah. That was an awesome call. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. Poor the edge. <laughs> Hello? Yes, yes. I'd like to ask I could make, make you a question if I could. Please. Sure, man. What's your name? Stuart. Okay, Stuart, go ahead. Okay, um, I'd like to ask Psychic Nikki uh, whether or not I'll be able to bring my mom back from B.C. or is she going to die in the next year? Oh, that's pr that's a pretty hard question to answer. Wait, like, what is she going to die? What is, what's wrong with her? Um, well, she's uh, very elderly. She's about 81 and she's, uh, she's uh, got dementia. And I've been... Uh, I've been trying to make arrangements to bring her back to Ontario, but it's been really hard. And, uh, Can't book a flight or... Uh, pardon me, sorry. Is it tough to book a flight? Uh, no, well, it's, the thing is, is trying to sell her trailer, trying to make arrangements, trying to get her back, you know. You know, you know, sir, did you mention yeah. she has dementia? Yes. So she's not sure where she is most of the time, stuff like that. Yeah, basically. Maybe, maybe just tell her, like, go visit and say, how do you like Ontario? I... <laughs> 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 is she That's a cheap right. and easy solution. Everybody wins, yeah, and she's everyone. none the wiser, sir. Dude, and while you're there, catch a catch a finals game with the Canucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Isn't Ontario yeah. great? The Leafs are in the finals. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is going to be a cure for dementia too coming up within oh. a five year period. Oh, very good. If we're really? all here. Yep. Wow. I wonder if she's going to live that long. Um, you know, I really like to block out death. When it yeah. comes to these things, especially over national radio. Come on, tell them. But, uh, you know, tell the truth. Well, tell them the truth. I don't feel... You just told a guy on the phone yeah. he was getting a divorce and he's not even married yet. Right. So tell them the truth. What are you well, getting? Well, I mean, sh there could hey. be something bad happening any time within 24 months. But okay. I think you should go there and visit her soon. Yeah. Oh, definitely. No, no. I've already been there and it's, it's just... It's so hard to try and make arrangements yeah. for elderly people. You know? Dude, just, all you yeah. got to do is what I told you to do. Right? Right. Maybe you go you there and there. you go, oh, this is beautiful, Mom. Yeah. How do you like Port Carling? <laughs> 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 and then, like, wake up the next day and go, like, hey, I just figured I'd bring it to Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was in Victoria, B.C. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. Okay, Good luck to you. Oh, she's all right. Yeah, I do, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mom, how do you like the CN Tower? It's good. Oh. It looks like a slide. <laughs> Just climb up the ladder to the slide. <laughs> Mom, how do you like Canada's Wonderland? <laughs> Looks like a park. Yeah. You hear about this new uh, Alzheimer's alert program they're doing? No. Like, the, you know, they have those Amber Alerts? 
So when like when patient like when people with Alzheimer's get lost, they're doing like it just was introduced today. Seriously, like the Alzheimer's. So you get it's like Amber. Yeah. Oh, so like when a kid goes missing, you put a big thing. For, now they do the old people alert. Doing, yeah, it's like, we have to do that, that I wicked swear, siren well, on the air. We just announced today in Ontario, like all over billboards. <laughs> and I was just, it's kind of funny because maybe the person who's lost would look up and like, oh, March is lost, but it's them. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, I hope they find him. <laughs> yeah. I'll just sad. Keep, I'll just keep walking in this strange neighborhood. <laughs> it's a not, It is a good thing to do, but it's just. <laughs> Well, you I know just what? always think if they see it themselves. Yeah. We're all going to be there one day, right? Yeah, so. I doubt it. Some, some sooner than others, <laughs> right. Some, some, of us are, some of us are half, <laughs> nice. like some of us are halfway there. Really? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Ange. Hey, Dean, how's it going? Good, bud. What's up? Um, I just want to know. Just a question for Nikki. Yeah. If I'm going to die on my motorcycle, straight into the point. Wow. Um. Okay. What is your sign astrologically? Uh, Aquarius. Yep. You're an Aquarian? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, you're a little aggressive when it comes to driving motorcycles, okay? I am. Um, I feel like you will, you know, properly wreck your machine. You may, I don't see you, I see you getting injured. I'm not going to wreck me, though. Uh, to a point. Like, you could oh. have a few broken bones and stuff like that. And uh, I feel fine. like, um, I see water, like, like rain when this happens. Okay. And I see your motors. I see you on kind of a country road going into a ditch. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Lovely. But you're going to be fine. You may be unconscious for a day, but you'll be fine. <laughs> well, dude, why well, you just give up on the truth? You're not going to die. That's you know a good news. You know what's been great about this about this episode yeah. with Nikki is that she's telling everybody awful things. I, know, so I am so happy right now. You are? Yep. I love why? it. Why? Well, that's why people call. Well, I people know. call because they're they're concerned about something, and you tell them the truth. Well, I never we, tell people. I know that, here. but usually you you never tell them anything. But if you got some bad news, sometimes you stay away from it. Right. So don't stay away from Okay, him. I won't. But he's not going to die. He's just going to have a few injuries. Maybe he'll just get <laughs> maimed <laughs> at the edge. Hi, yes, good morning. Who's this? Oh. This is Jane. Hi, Jane. Hello. I love your show, guys. Love we, your show. We Thank love you, Jane. Uh, let's have a question for Second Nikki. Yes, Jane. Hi. I've had some health issues at uh, the beginning of the year. Uh, I had a slight stroke, and I've gone through all kinds of tests, and next Monday I'm going for a good old colonoscopy. I'm just wondering uh, what's in the future. like. I'm How old are you, Jane? 55. And have you ever had a colonoscopy? Uh-uh. Oh, man. I had one scheduled a while ago. And? I canceled it because I couldn't bear the idea yeah. of a girl sticking a camera up my hoop. Cancel mine too. If that's yeah. bad. Maybe we should let's go no. together. No. Yeah. Hold our hands. Hold hands. Yeah. Is yours in yet? <laughs> I think so. Well, as I said to my doctor, well, you've poked every part of my body. That's the only one you've not seen. So go for it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, a good one. Good one. All right. Go ahead. But you know what? Well, I see you living long. You're feisty. Oh, brilliant. Thank I you. see at least 85 years old here. Oh, shit. That, not that long. I don't <laughs> see that. <laughs> Where are you from, Jane? Uh, I'm from Malaysia. So oh. Irish. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, she sounds Malaysian. Eh? Oh, they, yeah. They yeah. look old in Malaysia. <laughs> uh, what is your sign? Uh, Pisces. Okay, you're a fish. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, so only psychics can get away with that, buddy. No, he may, have, he, he may have the odd challenge, but honestly, I, even if you, you've got some sort of protection around you or something, because I don't see it being really, really bad. Oh, I think it's my faith, I presume. It, it is. And um, another question. How's my financial? Right now, it sucks. Okay, do you have a job? Oh, yeah. And do you have dependents? Uh, no. Um, You're not supposed to ask people going with that if they're going for a colonoscopy. If they have dependents. <laughs> oh, I thought <laughs> that depends. <laughs> okay. no. Do you have a Walmart near you? Uh, I actually I do not like to shop in Walmart. No, I'm talking. Do they sell lottery tickets in Walmarts? Or not? I think so. They do. You got to buy one there. That's what I'm getting. Oh. Could be a at, winning ticket. At Walmart. Yeah, a Walmart. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess for that lottery, I will just spend my dollar at the U.S. company. Okay. Atta girl, you have fun and do it. I hope you're going to be fine. She's going to be fine, right? She honestly, nope. it's really weird. Some people can have. Every- Derek, what are you getting? <laughs> She's dead. No, like, oh, Derek. In no. Oh, Derek. Derek. Oh man. Derek. Derek. Oh man. She's going to slip and fall on ice. Oh. Yeah. Crack the old neck, Gonzo. Derek. Derek. <laughs> 
No, I, I'm telling you, she, some people. Let me read your. Let me read your palm, Derek. <laughs> Just a minute. Bumpy. You are very bumpy. <laughs> Just a minute, Derek. People yeah, can be sorry. bumpy. Like honestly, I really feel some people can have. Look everything. at her. She's getting. She's taking it seriously now because you get a competitor next. S- some people can get every damn thing in the book with them. Okay, yep. wrong. You know, physically, mentally, whatever. Yeah. And they live. They live to a hundred. Okay. And other people die young. And this woman's going to live long. No. Nope. She's got protection <laughs> around her. No. Nope. I'm getting it, Derek. i got to disagree with you. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Oh, oh, stick your tongue. Oh, 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 oh,
follow to see what's happening in the future? How do you do it? Okay, first of all, I'm clairaudient, but with specifics. Okay, right. I'm part medium, full psychic, clairaudient. Okay, okay they should so, have a dad dating and, website for that. And, and, I do, and I do have a spirit Tough guide. Tough to put in a profile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your spirit guide's name? Okay, the spirit guide is a, a young boy. Is his name, what's his name? Omar. Omar. Really? Yeah. Oh, dog. It's like a Nikki. <laughs> Just. Yeah, what's up, psychic Nikki? Here's what you're going to do today. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. 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 Omar's dropping it like it's hot. I see something going wrong in Missouri. That's right. <laughs> now you do too. No, you tell everybody. Yeah. 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 Well, how Mother ever? Yeah. yeah. This is going to be a giant okay. lobster. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling my friends they're not really going to be a giant yeah, lobster, yeah. but you're going to tell anyone you're he's wrong. Tell, he's telling all the other spirit mediums. He's like, this, oh, you'll never guess what this woman's saying. <laughs> I gotta say some crazy crap like there's gonna be a 40 foot crap hop. Oh my, you're the worst! Actually, oh my, you're the worst! You are the worst! Oh my, that's so good! <laughs> Actually, it's Olar. Olar. O L A R. Olar. Oh, that's cool. Now, the thing is, it's like, like Swedish. Yeah, now I see and I hear, okay? You're going so, to see so I, 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 <laughs> Olar. I, I, I get vibes, and I hunting. also see visuals. So when I'm... Joplin, when, Missouri, will have a big tornado. Yeah, exactly. Like Joplin, I get the word Joplin, and then I get wow. tornado And I'm Missouri. going to throw her a curveball, and she's going to say something but, about a 40 foot of grasshopper. Now, now, I'm Claire Audience. She's going to start talking like that one day. Anyway. Which is the Sorry, ability to come up with specifics, okay? Aliens talk that way no yeah and so i get a visual now when somebody calls in i'm actually getting uh you know an image like a, it's a colored image like a television camera and i right, can but yeah but go ahead like we're we're like again we live in three-dimensional time and space right is there are you like are they communicating in other dimensions or are you are you in touch with other dimensions sir, or I am, sir do you I have am. a question about your wiener you or know, something like yeah. Mickey, is that, actually, i understand uh, yeah. that i don't, I don't know about the alternate oh, dimensions no it's, well, I, it's like time travel okay yeah. i go back into the future and i can actually go back and what usually, you don't know is she's actually very flat like like she's a one, one dimensional <laughs> no i am not sorry dude what'd you say it's a very it interesting. No, no, not, you're not. It is a fourth dimensional communication, then. So that's what's happening. Okay. Do you believe in that? Uh, there, there's ten dimensions apparently, far is beyond it? our ability to comprehend. But there's apparently ten dimensions. In the fourth, in the fourth dimension, time is nonlinear. Can I ask you a question? Do, do, when, uh -huh. do you, when do you think the ten dimensional TVs are coming out? Because that, <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> Pretty expensive. Uh, already got it already. They just will release it. <laughs> or did they? <laughs> yeah, they have to wear those gay glasses with the ten-dimensional TV. I don't <laughs> think so. Like no, like, fly. You're watching sports. You actually got to wear the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and, sir, I don't. I, I I love you, man. And you seem like a great guy. I just I got to tell you, I don't know what you're talking about. So I I do, but it's a very okay. interesting question, really. Yeah, it really it is. is. Yeah, fascinating yeah. because you are like it's amazing what you do. Your accuracy is phenomenal, and. Uh, Again, I don't have it. I guess some people do, but well, you know, some the amazing people... thing is like you're a more evolved being. Oh, I don't yes. know. About... You know, just looking at her, oh, you probably yeah. wouldn't come to mind. <laughs> That's right. But you're right. She is. She she yeah. somehow. And I remember. Yeah. And I, I'll give her <laughs> full marks, dude. Like uh, I don't. Not long ago, she used the words Joplin, Missouri. Tornado. tornado. And we just laughed right. at her Joplin. Jan and we'd made yeah. Janice Joplin jokes. <laughs> And along the same line, can we, is there, is there an exercise or is there something that, uh, regular folks? Yeah, there is. I know can, it. Is there something okay. we can totally, do dude, you want to know what it is? That mm. skill, like you, you've honed yeah. your skill or, or no. maybe. No, you no, no, that's not how it works. It's easy. I'll explain to you how it works. But what's your name, by the way? Tom. Tom. This is what you do. You, uh, you, you go, you, you crumple up some weed. <laughs> and you roll a dube and you and you and you get a little bubble hash going in that thing. Yeah, and I tried you, that. Yeah, I tried that stuff like two or three thousand times, and it just wasn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> Good. good answer. Uh, uh, you're a good and then guy, you grab like a magic eight ball, though, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, this guy says maybe. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> pointing. Yes, yeah. I'm a I doubt it. <laughs> well, you can learn to be. You can learn to do tarot cards. 
you can learn Dude, to Dude, you can calms, read A-holes, but, too. No, but you can't learn to be Stallone's clairvoyant. Stallone's mom did you that. You have to be born with that. I, my parents had it, too. Stallone's so, mom uh, used to read people's bu- buttholes. Yeah, I, I met her, and I did something with her. Well, ooh, 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 <laughs> no, not, no, hold not, on not, now. Not really? that. We didn't. Did you guys read each other's? No, we we did some thing together, oh. like an advertisement. Yeah, dude, it was ago. Omar. <laughs> but anyway. You're going to meet Sloan's mother and dyke out. <laughs> <laughs> you and Rocky's mom are going to lick lady bitch. We're going to go eight rounds. We're going to go eight rounds. Now, a lot, of, a lot of people are intuitive, okay? But it develops more as... It, now, this developed for me as I got older even more. But I've had it since the age of five. Now, some people, everyday people, are intuitive sometimes. I think Derek could be a little intuitive. <clears throat> Todd sometimes, and Dean, and meet us. But, <laughs> but you cannot learn to do this. It he has to You can't even come. print. It just Not even be intuitive. Come. You can't even spell intuitive. You know what? Yeah. There's a good one. That's how we'll end the show today. Intuitive. By the way, 416-961-7976 for Psychic Nikki. Yeah. Uh, Psychic Nikki. Great com. job this week. Yeah, great yes. job. Yeah. See you on Friday. Friday. Meet us. I'd like the 30-second. Mm. Uh, please spell intuitive. I-N-T-U-I-T-I-V-E. Oh, my God. This is a banner day. The apocalypse is upon us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, camping camping was right. Yeah. <laughs> the Dean Bundell Show. On the edge. <laughs> this is Dean Bundell Show. I don't give a fuck what you do. 102.1. Keep that radio station and shove it up your ass. The edge. Edgy. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, what is wrong? I'm so sad. You're sad? Sad. You, you look so sad. You do he look does. sad, it's which is un- funny. I'm sorry, G. You, know, you look so upset. Is it because my nostrils get very warm? <laughs> because that's what happened when I sat. It's almost perfect circumference. <laughs> said it's true. Nostrils get round. They do, because it's... <laughs> it's brilliant. He says when he gets sad, his nostrils get round in its perfect circumference. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so sad, brother? You know, my idol, my favorite person, my favorite actress, <laughs> my favorite singer is passing away. Who? Whitney Houston. <laughs> so beautiful. Oh, yeah. So magical. We're always loving you and you and you and me too, but mostly you and me. I will always loving you, my darling. You. You know. <laughs> 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 it's not laughing. <laughs> so I'm sorry, man. No, you know, no, news of Whitney Houston death travel with such speed. <laughs> when I heard, I could not help but crack up with emotion. What? We, hold it. With such speed and crack up with emotion. <laughs> She was a real heroine. (laughs) She was a heroine. It's it's such a blow. (laughs) It's a blow, all right. She she made a real hash of things, though. Someone should have kept taps on her. (laughs) (laughs) That one's good. (laughs) And now I'm so sad and angry because everyone is making fun of her. I know. 
just at a time when she became cool again. When? Because she made the transition from mainstream to the underground. <laughs> no, tomorrow she makes the transition yeah. to the underground. <laughs> but... <laughs> But at least she ended her life the same same way she ended her songs on a high note. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. Oh, I want to feel the heat with somebody. Oh, I want to dance with somebody with somebody who loves me. <laughs> Love her. <laughs> you sound so sad in that song. That probably goes over well at karaoke night, eh? <laughs> it's not about karaoke. It's about Whitney. <laughs> you know, you know what Bobby did. Yeah. It made her stronger. But I guess he didn't do the, do enough. What? Making her stronger. What? She had so much soul. What's wrong with you? She had so much soul, and now she's 100% soul. (laughs) 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 Yeah. They say mean thing, like, who didn't we have a problem? (sighs) Or other ones, like, what was Whitney Houston's favorite movie? (laughs) Waiting to exhale. I think it's inhale. Or something. Look <laughs> <laughs> how sad but, you are. But you know, some, and it's, I'm so angry. Some companies are, well, you say, prof, profiting. Profiting. Yeah, profiting. Profiting. Money profiting. Profiting. Yeah. Profiting. Yeah. profiting. Yeah. No, for, no, profiting. 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 Poverty? Profiting. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Poverty. For, for example, <laughs> yeah. n- Nintendo, are will, Nintendo are releasing a game based on the lives of Amy Winehouse and Whitney Houston. Nintendo's releasing a game based on Amy Winehouse and wh- hit Whitney that. Houston's yeah. life. Wow. It's, it's called We Have. Have. It's good for you. It's so annoying. And, this, and uh, there's other jokes too, like... like Oh, how can you tell if Whitney Houston was in your kitchen? No idea. No more baking soda. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad joke. Boom goes oh, the dynamite. Oh, 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 like, what were Whitney Houston's last words? I don't know. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> So sad. And this one, this one, that's the one, that's the only one I'm complaining about. But someone say this joke. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? No, knock, knock. Sorry. Knock, knock. Hurry up, Whitney. I need to make a pool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh crap balls. <laughs> and this is the last thing I have. Oh man. <laughs> Snap out of it a bit. It's the Klingon death cry. How we honor a passing away. <laughs> You're Klingon? Ah! Is this a death cry? Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay.
Okay, I feel better now. <laughs> she been chatting, everybody. Wow. The Dean Blundell Show. The Dean Blundell Show on the edge. To the beat, y'all. Aww. I'm licking my lips, my fingers is sticky. Who's in the house? It's psychic Nikki. Yeah, come on. Uh, oh. Me, your life is full of sorrow. Y'all listen up. This chick sees tomorrow. Oh, get back. It's like that. Get, get, get back. Queen, y'all. It's psychic Nikki. Do that thing. Yeah. Oh, what, is the, what is that thing? I hate it. Gyrating on a Sibian. A Sibian? Symbian. Oh, Whatever. Symbian. <laughs> it's like a horse saddle with a thing in the middle yeah. just for girls. That's, That's her kinda thing. neat. Yeah. That's you'd your thing. probably enjoy it. She'd never leave the house. <laughs> I don't think she does. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you guys. Four one six nine six one seven nine seven six. If you want to ask her a question, so uh, let me ask you something. Uh, about a year and a half, two years ago, we were in the old building. That's right. At the y- you said a very famous singer and movie star would drown, and you were right because that's exactly what happened to Whitney Houston. Congratulations. Right. Good work. Yeah, I also mentioned... Did you hold her head down? No, no. (laughs) I really like... This one's coming true! I I like Whitney Houston (laughs) because I grew up with her music. (laughs) We all did. You grew up with her music later in life. (laughs) (laughs) You grew up with it. You mean you you liked it? I loved... loved, She was very beautiful and she was a great singer Mm. and I feel for her. And and honestly predicted that her and Bobby Brown would pass away. So Bobby's going to be soon? And that, that was at the Eaton Center as I well. I kind of remember that, actually. Yeah, I did. I said they both would pass away because, you know, they didn't... It was all the drug issues and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, you know, I really feel bad about it. My heart goes out to her family nah, and friends. No, nah, you don't need to feel bad. Well, no, I do. Dude, th- I said this today. I said yeah. this today in... in I don't care if anybody agrees with me, and you can talk about addiction, you can talk about all that stuff. We're all addicted to something. Everybody's got some type of addiction, whether it's porn, gambling, in, in uh, drug heads case, marijuana, uh, Todd's... Uh, and, 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 and drinking. Hey, we, all, we all have vices, but we manage those vices because we have responsibilities. Moderation. Right. If I sat there continually stabbing myself in the face with a butcher knife and died... Would you go, oh, that's so sad? Well, I probably no, would. Because yeah. I sat there doing it to myself. Oh, okay. I sat over and over and over and over and over and over and yeah. over again. So the outcome shouldn't be surprising. Yeah, if she died in a plane crash, different very sad. Story. Yeah. Different story. Yeah. Be sad. Too soon. But no one, everybody knew this wasn't too soon. This was too late. Now, this is going to produce a domino effect. There's going to be one singer after another dying. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Who's coming next? Who's well, Bobby oh. Brown's going to either get it from somebody that is a Whitney Houston fan. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, or oh he's going to get killed. He oh, could. you started her on the crack. <laughs> right. It's your turn. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. The greatest love of all my ass. <laughs> <laughs> right. She has a lot of fans out there. Yeah. And, so, you know, and, and I feel sorry for her daughter. Um, Bobby C- Christina? Yeah, but there's pro- there's going to be a domino effect of a lot of singers hey. passing away soon. Hey, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby. Bobby Brown. Hey, Bobby boy, Brown. Right. Hey, Bobby. Maybe even Chris Brown. I don't know. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What's Whitney Houston's hu- husband's ex-husband's <laughs> name? Bobby. <laughs> oh. Oh. Reverend Brown. How's it going, Bobby? That daughter's name is Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> and what's her dad's name? Bobby. <laughs> Bobby Senior. <laughs> uh, too bad her middle name wasn't Pins. <laughs> or Socks. Or Ing for Apples. <laughs> Bobbing for apples. But you know what? She's at peace. And yeah. she's looking at this right now. She's over. She knows. She, she knows. knows. She's stepped up, right? She knows well, she nobody up. really helped her that much. Oh, whatever. Ah, you know, this I, is, I don't buy don't, Todd that. said that last week, I and he was so absolutely correct. <clears throat> she had $200 million. 200 
Gone. And crack was too cheap for her to buy. Yeah, she even said that. <laughs> yeah. Crack is cheap. I, I make too free. much money to smoke That's crack. That's what she said. Yeah. So no one helped her because she refused everybody's help. Yep. It's, dude, it's the best example I can give you. If I stood on Young Street, if I went to Young Dundas Square and just sat and punched myself in the face and eventually knocked myself out and maybe died from hitting my head, no one should be surprised. And no one should feel sorry for me. And if you had those means to help yourself, there is great support there. All these people are going to speak at her funeral. They could have helped her. Well, that's true. Cause at I least she's think... getting a funeral. You know how many people yeah. don't? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and, and once again, not to Ugh. defer to my man Todd here, but What's T-Bone up? had a good example. <laughs> uh, a Jimmy who died of a heroin overdose at Moss Park the other day. No one's, no one's crying and leaving uh, yeah. flowers at the corner of what and what. And he didn't have probably the means for help. And no. He didn't have cash to help buy him more drugs. So, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> you, to, you would you know, yeah, yeah, he had yeah, to do yeah, yeah, the yeah, drugs? Yeah, yeah, you know what? I would go to his funeral before I'd go to Whitney Houston's yeah. funeral but, because that guy probably had to huff some wang down oh, for Crack okay. Rock. That's a survivor. Yeah. Well, okay. I, I, think, I think people go to Whitney Houston's funeral to see Kevin Costner because they haven't seen him for a long time. I know, yeah. It's like a role finally. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> actually, um, you know, this... Like her aunt or her cousin, Dionne Warwick, was a bigger star and never took drugs or drink. Yeah, but that doesn't, what does that have to do with it? Well, because that was her cousin, so she lived her life normally. Oh, no, I, Dionne Warwick, psychic to the stars, lived her life normally? Dionne Warwick. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, this is You gonna, predicted it, we know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, also, Shakira got attacked by a sea lion this week. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> her brother saved her life. No way. Yeah. 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 Off the coast of, I think it's South hurt? Africa. Oh, Colombia. Yes. Something. What, did she get, like, bit? I, I think it was Biter? swimming near her, and her yeah. brother said, eh, there's a sea lion. Oh, and, and, and last <laughs> year, under Death Watch and Health Watch and Danger, I predict, watch she's on my watch. list, Shakira. <laughs> yeah, too bad she can't hear on your Death Watch. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Here comes one. Here comes. The- <laughs> well, I was telling her about the Death Watch, but uh, no one heard you. <laughs> Nobody heard the death watch, no, right? No, no death. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go ahead. And also, I predicted a man going over the Willendas. I <clears throat> predicted Nick Willenda would go over. Derek Niagara has Falls. a problem with this. Why? Because it's been in the courts forever. He's been trying to cross the, the falls on no, the... No, but on it was the, way the, before uh, that that I was. predicted that. She predicted it years really? ago. Uh, but I will say this. I will say... Ago. It's in the no. U.S. tabloid. Yeah. I wrote it down, honestly. Two weeks it was two weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. Ty woke over... Ty walked yeah, over... Two weeks Really? Ago. Yeah. No... I remember it long but time ago. But I also ago. predicted it before okay. that. It's in the U.S. Yeah. tabloid. I'll T-Bone. bring it to you she next She reminded week. us two weeks ago. Greatest memory in the world, so. The greatest memory <laughs> of all. But, but you know what, Derek? He didn't have to do it, right? Who, Nick Walenda? Yeah. No. It's all they got. <laughs> Imagine if you were one of them flying Walendas and you decided to become a barber instead. Yeah. <laughs> what a chance if you take with your head. <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show. Wake up. Mornings. Wake up. Psychic Nikki's here. Good morning. Good morning, team. Uh, this guy, John, says, uh, so Sticky Nikki is on Wednesday and Friday every week, just so I know what days not to bother tuning into your show. Oh. John, you're being a dick. Don't be a dick. Just Friday. There's lots of show here. Uh, she's fine. She's not going anywhere, and I don't care what you say. So, John. Suck it. Have a bath, John. <laughs> Have a bath? Mm. There, you really that is oh, hard. You are. Might, s- joke, dude. might slip. Oh. 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 Wow. Hey, go get yourself a burger and fries <laughs> right. and head to the bathtub, right? Exactly. Yeah. Have a smoke. <laughs> that sounds so good, eating burger and fries I in the know. bathtub. I've never thought to do that. Yeah. I don't even, do you take baths? Who takes baths? You know what? I have a great... I do. I love bubble do baths. Yeah. Oh, I get it's, it's like great. sitting in a pool of yeah. your own Dagos and yeah. filth. What if you had a shower first, then had a bath? No, shower after. But what's the point? You're doing two. Yeah, well, you just rinse after. No, it's like coming men, out of the ocean. Men take showers. <laughs> women take bubble baths. No, they don't. Women baths. bath too. Women, men, <laughs> men that bath have major issues. And men major. and women <laughs> bathing together. <laughs> Dude, it's yeah. you. You have major issues. You like That's candles, po- play a little cold play. Yeah. There you go. And then get uh, your boyfriend to... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Todd's right on. Right on, Todd. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Any predictions? We'll yeah, now, uh, now let's uh, roll through these, okay. please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Now, Just pound them out. Now, a famous weatherman on TV will become a porno star. Awesome. That's yeah. cool for you. Golly, I hope it's not Dave Duvall <laughs> or Harold Hossein. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, a warm front up in your face. <laughs> Don't forget the raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need it. <laughs> it's a wet afternoon. <laughs> There's going to be a cloud burst. 
What else you got? <laughs> right. <laughs> Ladybugs. 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 You know what they are? Yeah. Bugs. Ladybugs. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> They're going to invade Earth. <laughs> They're already here. Earth. Earth. She can't stop laughing. She's like, They're going to invade Earth. <laughs> I'm telling you, they are. Oh, yeah. Ladybugs are lucky. They're going to invade Earth. They're here. They're going to be everywhere. Oh, wow. you mean they're going be- to become a pestilence then? Yeah, like a big one, all like right. a red one with dots oh, just on one, it. And- red one with dots. They all- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except for those Japanese ones. They're orange. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, but they're... The Japanese bite. ladybugs are orange? Oh, yeah. yeah, and they bite. And they bite? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, they're taking over. How do we get those ones over here? <sighs> Shipments of stuff. Oh. Probably electronics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese ladybugs came over in a calculator. <laughs> That they're lucky. Don't kill them. Are they? Okay. Yeah, yeah I never yeah. want to kill ladybugs. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. And that, and they crack. What do you kill them? You <laughs> yeah, it's like stepping now, on a roach. Now, an astronaut will float away in space mm, at man. an international space station. Seriously? So yeah. At an international that space That would be station? one of the worst ways to go. I know. Isn't that horrible? Just you know like, what I do is if I was floating away, I'd just pull off the, the yeah. tie. Would you the really? Hair. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because you don't want to. <clears throat> dude. Watching yourself float away from the International Space Chase yeah. into nothing could be the most scary. I, when I was a kid, this yeah. is a true story. Yeah. When I would like start getting a fever or sick, yeah. I always had the exact same dream. Uh-huh. And that dream was that I was on top of a really large pole or a stack of something in outer space hanging on for dear life. Before, really? From the Earth. Really? No, but it was coming up from the Earth. And hmm. petrified me. Absolutely. And I have no idea why, but that's what I dealt with when I was a kid. Yeah, that would. But Plus, what would I didn't get pubes till I was like fifteen or sixteen. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what would happen to you if, if you, you if your head came or not your head, your mass came off? Did, or whatever? You explode. You would. You'd implode. Yeah. The pressure is like uh, being a mile underneath the earth. Oh, if that was the case, Ew. I'd take off my pants first. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea, Tom. <laughs> well, he's kind of messy. Oh, it's one way to go. <laughs> yeah. A messy way to go, sure. right? Yep. Well, I hope it doesn't. Well, you just said it will. Yeah, it will. Uh, Now, also, I see a nun saving somebody from a subway train. Mm -hmm. So she's going to be there just in the nick of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, a movie star is going to die over a poker game. Okay, so they're going to lose and somebody's going to shoot a a movie star. Gary Busey. Now, Michael Moore has to watch his health. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, He's Michael. 800 pounds. I know. Yeah, really. He's got to lose weight. All right. <clears throat> now, John Stewart has to be careful of fast cars. Yep. Danny oh. DeVito has to watch his health. <laughs> and I see something possibly happening happening at the London Olympics. Hmm. Like um, a terrorist attack or something? It could be, mm. yeah. And um, I see another Bernie Madoff ripping people off for millions of dollars in Washington, D.C. Hmm. And a well known personality, TV personality, is going to die skydiving. Really? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Like that, uh, somebody like that, like a oh. person or a sitcom person. Like what about a porn really? star? We have our porn star buddy Voodoo who does it. He does? Oh my god! I hope not. He skydives, right? Really? Our porn star buddy Voodoo? Yeah. 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 And I see a disease around parrots, and. Rock. Rock. They're, they're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're <laughs> should have should have had protected sex with that other parent. Here I <laughs> come, God. Should have worn a domer. <laughs> Polly, Polly got hep. Polly got hep <laughs> Polly got the heavy. Polly does not want a cracker. <laughs> anyway, what else? And I see Peru, South America. Okay, <laughs> big big earthquake, Lima. Lima, yep. Peru. Lima, Peru. Lima, mm-hmm. Peru. Mm-hmm. And um, Bobby Brown, yeah, he's got a, He's not going to make it. Um, Clive Davis has to watch his health. Everybody around Whitney yeah. Houston's yeah. dying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, violence in Taiwan. Where is Taiwan, anyway? Taiwan? Taiwan. Thailand? Taiwan. No, Taiwan. this is Taiwan. Taiwan is in Thailand, I believe. It no, is. no, it's off the coast of China, and China claims it, but Taiwan thinks it's independent. And oh. they're always, it's a tiny little thing. Yeah, they're always the pointing yeah. guns at each other. Really? I wonder what the capital of Taiwan is. Taipei. Can't remember. But anyway, I see violence. Taipei. There. Taipei. 
I see violence in Taipei, mm. Taiwan. It's more like a Type B. Yeah, and I see a gas <laughs> explosion in Madrid, Spain, with mm. lots of buildings coming. Hey, what about down. Greece? What about what's going on with Greece? Are they, oh, I uh, hear they're really upset over Whitney's death. Yeah, they've been throwing stuff, right. now, breaking things. I predicted riots in Greece before, but there's going to be another earthquake in there. That's oh, really? really huge. Oh, no. So they're the broke. They need. Oh my so, God! So Can they afford an earthquake? Bro- no, no. But God hates Tzatziki. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Greek food's good. The best and the best value. The best. Yes, I know. You get a four liter jug of wine on the beach for eight cents. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. They put, but, in you know, Greece, they put they give you like the whole thing of feta. Maybe, maybe that's why they're broke. Way too much food in the oh, yeah. we, we've been selling feta at a quarter of the price. True, dude. <laughs> You know we potatoes and rice we put on the sides? Yeah, it's crazy. It's only too much. We should have been charging 15. Like, 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 bring it home here for a week. No, <laughs> Bob. But and the, the freaking plates. Yeah. Break the plates. Save the plates. Save the plate. You see, the whole earthquake under the Mediterranean, yeah. right into those islands. Really? And Crete and, like, the colors. Uh, what about, like, Italy and tsunamis yeah, of, and stuff? All, yeah, all of that stuff. What about that little country, Malta? That looks nice. Well, it might not be there, there anymore. Oh, like, oh wow. That's I, like, statement. all this. Like, see, this is only the beginning of the year. Yeah. Okay, and oh. people say, well, this hasn't happened yet. When's the next big earthquake? Very soon. <laughs> like, now. <laughs> I think Todd's You're having You're welcome, Stockholm. <laughs> Todd, Todd's having an earthquake there. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, yeah, not good. Not good. When? It's, I would say could be within a week an earthquake somewhere. Big one. Yeah, I'm like, feel- like like the wow. like Japanese big. Yeah, like Tokyo. Yeah. Tokyo is going to have a huge one California yeah. like oh, really, again? really soon within a month or oh, something. Hey, you yeah. got to take God if you can hear me up there, take it easy on my Japanese friends. They had a hard year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and and I don't care much for New York, but <laughs> you know, take it easy. Now, who's Leonard Skinner? Uh, it's it's not a guy. Person. It's the name of a band. Yeah, well, they're in trouble. Again? I see. I see. Like, <laughs> where do they go to? Did you want to tell her? No, I see. I see, I, I see problems around them. <laughs> I see like danger or something. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell us and, more. Well, please. I see danger. I don't know this band. It just came to me in the middle of the night. What about oh. Buddy Holly? Buddy Holly's <laughs> dead. Bad with him. Yeah. Buddy Holly died. Really? Huh. Yeah. No. Well, I'll I'll have mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if you'll you care. Yep, I care. Uh, three of the members died in a plane crash in '77. They did. <laughs> yes. So, yes, did. if you were making this prediction in '76, I'd say bingo. No way. They all died. Yeah. yeah, three of them. Really? And there's one living. The surviving members. Yeah, uh, remember Freebird? Freebird. They were formed as the Noble Five. There were five of them. Really? That's yeah. weird. three because three died, and then two left, and then they went with uh, Ronnie Van Zant. Maybe they're going to lose some money at like funny. Casino Rama or something. Only <laughs> <laughs> only, maybe they came to me in a dream. Like, honestly, so if something so, bad happens to the couple of guys left, yeah, from a couple of guys uh, left. That's what it is. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good because in job. the middle of the night I got that. Now Cliffhanger, the movie. Do you remember the beginning of Cliffhanger, Derek? Because you do mm, blind movie review- sort reviews. Sort of. <laughs> do you remember that? What you know. I think what? Cliffhanger's about a 25-year-old Dude, movie. Dude, Cliffhanger's Thank the you. best movie ever. It's not the best. It's the worst movie ever. Look at Chris Hawke no. player. That guy. No. He's a thumb right. He That's kicks him. Stupid. Great. No. Cliffhanger's the Come best. Come on, no, stop. That no, is no what I'm saying, for me. Thank you. There's going to be a real-life cliffhanger like that. Like, in other words, Sylvester Stallone. Where they're, they're going to drop, like, a, yeah. a, 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 yeah. a uh, some kind of model helicopter. And make it look so bad. Oh, man. No, this is for, this is, no, this is real. This is a real cliffhanger like that movie. The girl's hanging Finger. on to Sylvester Stallone. He's trying to get over the wire. To I've prep. seen it. I know. I so, know. okay, there's going to be a real cliffhanger. I yeah. get it. Okay, well, movie. next one. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. Yeah. Now, a man's going to give another man a million dollars to, to have, his, to, to have to, cosmetic uh, surgery to switch faces so that he can be with the other one's wife. No it. way. Yes, exactly. A guy's going to get a plastic <clears throat> surgery to look like another guy because he, he wants to be with the other guy's wife. Right. So he's going to pay him a million dollars. That's going to happen. Uh, you know where that's going to happen? In the Philippines or something. Yeah, that's true. They do that stuff over there. They do? Well, <clears throat> too bad Brad Pitt probably doesn't need a million dollars. Exactly. <laughs> but remember that movie Face Off? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like that. I, I know. You're just watching different- a lot of TBS. That's where you're going <laughs> 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 Spike? I think so. 
Yeah. No, but I actually you see You just that. got cable, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I've, I've had it for a while. In color. <laughs> no, I actually saw that, uh-huh. like in a vision. Mm-hmm. Okay, keep going. Yeah, yeah, we get yeah. it. Okay. And um, I see Tom Selleck winning an award mm-hmm. for something. Stella McCartney's going to have a little health issue. That's the designer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Nicki yeah. Minaj, her appearances are going to get really crazier than they were at the Grammys, okay? Okay. She's going to be, she's kind of copying Madonna in a way. She has such yeah. awesome boobs. Like, I, I can't stand her face, the rest of her body, her butt, her music, her videos, her look, her hair. But she has great boobs. Like, she's got that butt implant, too. Like oh, it's crazy. I think she's good. I think she's talented. No, no, she's not. You don't think so? No, I don't really know who she is. I don't even know who this yeah, person is. Nicki Minaj was at the No, Grammys. I don't care. I don't okay. Care. Now, the castle in Scotland, I see it burning down. There's going to be a problem in New York and New Jersey and riots there. Yeah. And I also see Newark, New Jersey, a plane problem, too, like a crash. It's all happening in Newark, eh? I know. Yeah, Newark. Whitney's, Whitney's funeral's there tomorrow. And, Evan and, will be there. And a bad accident on the New Jersey Turnpike, too. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's Kevin Costner talking at her funeral. He was her bodyguard, dude. We talked about this no, earlier. He was her bodyguard. Sense. He failed. He went and took a dump, and then she died. <laughs> That's what happened. He's like Frank Farmer. He does one of these. I'll be back in a minute. Don't do anything stupid. Goes and grunts one out, comes back. Oh, oh stupid. Oh. Now, there's going to be a disease around chickens. Like a bad disease worldwide. H1N1, that kind of thing? Something like that. Bird killing, flu? Killing chickens. No too. chicken? Oh, they just added chickens. This is the Dean Blundell Show. We are dickhead free. 102.1, The Edge. Hi, who's this? This is Tia. Tia. Yeah, hi. Hi, what nationality are you, Tia? Oh, I'm a European mutt. Are you really? That's a nice name. Tia's like a, it, is it not a, like Latin? Little Latin Tia. It is. Well, Tia's my nickname is actually Tierra. Oh, Tierra. Oh, I like a, that name too. I, I like it better yeah. than Tia. You won a contest. Yeah, way to go. Oh, thanks. Uh, what do you want to ask Nikki? Um, I had a, I had a weird experience last week. Um, I'm pretty sure I had a ghost experience. No way. Good call. Oh, I mm. like these calls. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for calling. Oh, you're welcome. So what happened? I had given blood that day. I was a little woozy. <laughs> and I was going to sleep. And uh, I I heard things going on in the other side of the room. And I refused to look. And uh, then I heard whispering. And did it, uh, did, it, did, it, did it sound like this? Did you get, did you get some of the, like, do you have any other people in the house, by the way? Or no? There were people in the house. It was like okay, sounded the, very much in my ear. Oh, so was it like this? Was it like, hey, I think she's sleeping? Because <laughs> I really want to go in there and pour her a sweater. <laughs> think she's out yet? I don't know. You, you go shake her. No, you shake her. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I just want to pour her a sweater. <laughs> if you if you dip her finger in warm water, she'll whiz. She'll whiz. <laughs> <laughs> Tia will take a pia. <laughs> pia pia. Or was it really ghosts? Oh, yeah, did it scare? Did, what did you see? Did you see anything? I didn't. I refused to look. I was so scared. What did you hear? I. It was just like. Um, it wasn't anything specific. It was just like. Oh, it's just, oh, it's just, oh. That's creepy. Uh, Do that again. I kind of got turned yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, Tia? Nikki, what does she and, have in her and, house? And has this happened before? Um, not that specifically, no. But similar stuff. Well, I mean. I, I usually think it's my imagination. I try to, like, reason it away, and I couldn't reason this mm. one. Oh, sounds smart. I, I think there's some entity in your house. Okay. Where do you live? I live in Barrie. What, what, uh, do you live with, like, in a... In a <laughs> oh, yeah. do you, who do you live with? I live with my fiancé and his parents. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh I, know the, I know the whispering, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you think she's ever going to get the hell out of the house? <laughs> I'm not sure. Our if we, if we keep doing this, maybe. <laughs> Our son's such a failure. <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to tell him to get out or do you want me to? No, you tell him. I don't know. Should we tell her first? No, tell him because he's a loser. <laughs> Or maybe it was your uh, your father in law was like, I get what my son got. 
<laughs> Maybe it's your mom going, Daddy, he looks really hot. <laughs> now, you are going to hear a piano it. playing, too. Oh. In the future. Oh. That's creepy. We don't have a piano. You're going to have, I see, I feel like an organ or a piano playing. Do you feel an organ, do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Around that goes. Wow, it's been a long time. So <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly think that in the, the house. She's going to feel the organ or will you be feeling the organ? Both. Okay. <laughs> yeah, anyway, no, no, I really feel like uh, around piano. that ghost at one point there was a piano or an organ. Okay. Okay, and this is an old ghost. Is it attached to the house or is it attached to me? It's attached to the house. Okay. That's now, I, I really believe, you know, it's been there before, but you never felt it as much as that day. Now, the, you're going you're gonna to hear this again. Oh, oh, that's okay. Yeah, don't get scared because it's not going to hurt you, but I really believe there's more than one ghost, and it starts off in the basement. How too. long until we can get rid of these freeloaders? <laughs> <laughs> and I think the, the go- there's more ghosts in the basement of the house. Really? Yeah, I do. Oh, I, I don't want to scare you or anything. That's okay. But I, I don't want to explain about ghosts. Did, your, did anybody else hear it? No, nobody else was in the room. And I thought it was just because I was disoriented because I had given blood. It might have been. Could be. Could be. Has yeah. it only happened one time? Yeah. Oh. Mm, no, I don't uh, think so, Dean. The honestly. effects from the juice and the cookies they give you afterwards. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't help. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should leave the ghost some cookies and milk. <laughs> See if he eats them. <laughs> no, I honestly think, because in Barry, there's a lot of ghosts, like in those areas. Yeah. Yeah. So I really think that there's something there. So if you feel this again or see it, call me. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Because I really feel that it's there. I don't think it was her imagination. She thought it was her imagination. Do they do that often? Whisper and talk about you or say things to you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, They they like that. They can't really Now I can take her seriously. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, they do. They go like that. Like what? Like what? Like what? Like what? Like I saw ghosts. No, what do they go? What do they go like? Ooh. (laughs) Do they really? Like, mm. Or boo. <laughs> no, no. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Some guy just sent me a really funny uh, story. Yeah. Right. What's worse than having lobsters on your piano? Uh, Crabs on your organ. Ooh. That, that would be worse. That would be worse. Because it feels an organ. Now, I'm getting, a, I'm getting this ghost attached to an old fire station in Barrie. Oh. Are you near one? No, we're not. We're in a newer development. Yeah, you're in the south end, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Yeah, but it doesn't mean the uh, ghost. Uh, the ghost could be it's old. A farm, Derek. It's all farmland. Yeah, Is it really? Yeah, yeah. The the ghost could be old. Okay, that ghost. Now, I want you to research this. I see like a an old fire station in Barry. Maybe there's a fire at your I'm house. Trying to get number you. two nine or something. I'm getting something around that station and a ghost. Okay. What if it was okay. the dad now, in, before, in the closet you, giving you know, it a whack? Yeah. You know, even if it's a oh, new. She doesn't hear this. <laughs> That's e- probably what it was. E- you know, I could probably explain this away with uh, less less than a, a poltergeist explanation. Yeah. 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 The dad Fire was station. probably in the closet yeah. giving it a pull because you were yeah. laying in bed in your underwear. <laughs> I don't think were so. Were you in your underwear? Do you, do you sleep naked? No, sir. Do you sleep in like uh, like panties? Be sure. Sexy, oh, yeah. sexy ones? Sleep in sexy panties? Absolutely. And uh, what about like a tight white t-shirt? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, you the, stop, your, it was the, the dad. Yeah. yeah. He was, was like the, the dad. And he dad. didn't hear whispering. He heard... Dean, that's not what I got in the vision. Well, okay, I'm getting like a... Hor- if you get it in your vision, it's really hard to see. <laughs> <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show, 102.1, The Edge. <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show. Queen, y'all. It's psychic Nikki. Do that thing. Golly, be 
knee. That is terrible. <laughs> I hope it oh, wasn't Chris was Brown catchy. doing uh, that. Wait a second. I've got I've got some breaking news. Oh. The, the the snowfall warning has ended for the city of Toronto and Hamilton and York and Dufferin. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Take so if you now, die. Now, hold it, not none. <laughs> now it's going to rain or some. Oh, no. Yeah. It's going to be plus two. <laughs> 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 uh, Nikki's here. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Dean. How are, how are you? I am always great when I see you guys. Nice to see you. you look terrific. Uh, Thank you. So let's get, first of all, you did some really good work over the last couple of weeks. Uh, a naked guy uh, climbed a, a TV tower in Los Angeles. That happened. You right. predicted that. They found a lobster the size of Gary Webster. I know. Or Coleman. <laughs> I know. Gary Coleman. Did you see Gary? Did you see Gary? <laughs> Gary Webster. <laughs> Gary Webster. Coleman. And then I got Gary it mixed Webster. up with Webster. Webster. Uh, I get all my African-American little people mixed up. I think up. Webster's gone. Emmanuel Lewis. Emmanuel Lewis. Anyway, uh, lobster the size of Gary Coleman was found where, right. when he was alive. Yeah, it was he huge. Was massive. <laughs> Something else, too. You got some other stuff, right? Yes, I did. No. Two two helicopters colliding over Arizona. Congratulations. Oh, uh, they're Marines, yeah. right? Yeah. And they're I getting s- rid of all those Marines, the ones who know stuff. It's crazy. Mm. There's a big conspiracy. Conspiracy about that. The ones okay. Got okay. Bin Laden. All I'm right. serious, dude. All yeah. right. Oh, yeah. And I said it. it. I said it was, you know, in Arizona, too. He did. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. Look at those nails. These are yeah. my alien nails. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. People have to die to make you right. So way to go. <laughs> now, now some some Oscar predictions uh, because the Oscars are this weekend, and everybody does these gay Oscar pull. Pardon my language. <laughs> The Oscars are this weekend, so everybody does these silly little Oscar pools and, and, and to get way into it. I know Derek used to go to parties where they'd put, like, they'd string film up from the, like, yeah. re, like, like real film yep. on the oh, wall. No, did they red yeah. carpet? Oh. Yeah, the red carpet. They do red carpet. Oh. No, it was just, dude, it was just a ginger chick laying on her back. <laughs> <laughs> right when you walked in. I'm stuck. <laughs> no so uh, some Oscar predictions and, and, and people go to parties. There's huge money on like Vegas puts one. odds on. I'm having a party. You come? Are you kidding? I'm ordering Chinese food. <laughs> Chinese food. <laughs> so whatever. Hmm. So what? Uh, what do you predict? Well, I think the artist is going to clean up. The, the silent, silent movie. movie. I, I'm pretty yeah. sure this. You know. Really? Yeah, but the Descendants could be close. George to, Clooney. Yeah. I feel that George Clooney and Meryl Streep will win. Oh, God. Did yeah. anybody see Tree of Life? I did. Yeah. I liked it. I loved what it. What a... Sh- you th- finally saw it? Oh, dude. My girl and I were trying to watch it, and I couldn't yeah. watch it. I was on, It was like a couple weeks ago. I said, I can't watch this. It's, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's All it is, is is it's Brad Pitt. This is the whole movie. You Folks, don't see end. it. You got to get to no, the end. No, you don't. It's so stupid. You don't know so you you you're creative. <laughs> we turn the movie on. Turn it on. Brad Pitt's in it. A yeah. bunch of other people that are famous. Like it's going to be a good movie. Yeah. This is Brad Pitt. This is all he says yeah. the whole movie. This yeah. is all he says the whole movie. And then yeah. after he says it, it's just scenes of cells splitting, like biology class. That part was messed the up. Stupidest stuff. Yeah. So this is what Brad Pitt says. It turned. He's like, "We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Everything's fine." It's the whole movie. That's the whole movie. <laughs> I got to agree with that, Dean. It was yeah. stupid. I had to turn nah, it off. Okay? There's more meaning. You guys got to dig deeper. You no, you look don't, the, because you gotta, it's two hours into it. That's when the meaning is. You got to cut yourself right down. I'd like to cut by the you right cage. now. I'd like to cut the person <laughs> that made that movie, Terrence Malick. I'd like and, to smash and rest him. your hand on your heart and take in what it's <laughs> offering. God, oh, what it was I offering was zero. Yeah, I told you it was stupid. The only good thing about it was Brad Pitt. Well, is he up for an Oscar for that best actor? No, the movie is up for best picture, I believe. It's not even a movie. It's like pretty brilliant. Dude, it's, all it's, it's, it is is, no, yeah. this is what it is. It's going back in time, taking some clips from the 50s and splicing it into a science biology video from grade 12. That's all it is. Oh, there's a deeper meaning, man. Listen, if it you wins, I'll eat enough. my muff. I was not. I'm telling. What'd you just say? I will eat my muff if that movie wins. <laughs> okay. Flexible. <laughs> and it's right there. <laughs> it just got real. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, tell you, and I, and I'll tell you one thing. No. That would be better than the tree of life. Uh, that just you? happened. No, I don't know if it would. <laughs> it would be better. Um, actually, Chris Plummer, I think he's going to He's going to win. Yeah, For, sure. I think he's For best gonna actor? Win. What movie was Best he supporting in? actor. A beginner. Uh, yeah, yeah. The one he was like, an, a man who was gay See, all or these something. Movies, all these movies yeah. that are nominated, I've never seen. I've never yeah. even heard of them. It's got Ewan McGregor in it, too. It's, oh, great. It's supposed to be really good. It's Like, a, like it's, Goon. Yeah. Did Goon get nominated well, for an Oscar? It just came out. It oh. might next year, but no. <laughs> now, now yeah. an upset could be Michelle Williams or Viola Davis. 
Right. Yeah. I heard Michelle Williams is going to win for her role as Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, she Marilyn. could. She She's could. going to have a magic uh, thingy. Badge? Like, yeah. Like, I'm she, getting her and Meryl Streep close together. Iron Lady, yeah, Meryl yeah. Streep. Yeah. No interest in that movie. And Octavia Spencer, whoever rather, that is. I'd rather, I'd rather watch it. Yeah. I'd, I'd rather you put an eggplant in the microwave and I just watch it go for like two minutes than right. watch a Meryl Streep movie. No, she's pretty good. No, you know who's going to win is that Rooney Mara chick. I don't know how to. She was in The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. She's going to win that one. That's my No. Yeah. That Michelle Williams win. You yeah. know why? She's got the sympathy thing going because of Heath Ledger. No, that was years ago. No, it was it's two years late. ago. Yeah. It's too late. No, she's got the sympathy vote. Oh, your yeah. husband was coked out on Xanax. Oh, and bulls. <laughs> <laughs> Xanax and That's bulls. What Heath chose. It's what Heath chose. <laughs> and then he lost. <laughs> we know those words aren't real. <laughs> what else? What other Oscar things are you getting? Um, maybe there'll be a streaker. No, really? I think Billy Crystal's going to be amazing. I like him. I think he's going to like be so good. Yeah, Here we are. Wait, yeah. wasn't Eddie Murphy supposed to host it, and then he didn't yeah. like the producer, and then and then like he quit or something because he didn't get his own producer? Yeah, on someone it. said he yeah. swore at, at something at one like he <laughs> he dropped an f bomb somewhere I, I guess in a in an interview or something about yeah. something, and then they're like I don't know if we want you to do it. It would have been great to have him do mm-hmm. it. It's yeah, too bad. Been awesome. Bring back his buckwheat character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long time. The Oscars are OT. <laughs> we have compiled for you and you're watching Peza some of your favorite movies. Exactly. Take a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> See you right there. Best opening ever. Dean Blundell Show. On the edge. It's like Nikki's here. Good morning, Nikki. Good morning, Dean. And, uh, oh, that's a fun song. <laughs> Some uh, phone calls, you ready? Or do you want to do some predictions? What do you got? Whatever you want. You tell me. Boss. What do you got? Um, okay, now Tyler Perry has to be careful of planes and fast cars. Producer Tyler Perry. Chris Brown is in danger. He's good. going to jail or somebody's going to bump him off. That's oh, what good. Really? Did, did, so he stole this girl's cell phone because she took pictures. So he stole the phone and, and he like called her a bunch of names. He just, he, you know what? There are people that are just not nice to women that deserve to not be on this planet and share this earth with these women. And Chris Brown would be one of them. Well, you know what? He ha- he is talented. I got to tell you that. But you know what? He's in danger. That's all I can tell you. Good. Now there's going to be a huge fire at Waterloo University. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm getting a volcanic. Eruption, volcanic, volcanic <laughs> in Alaska, <laughs> like huge, with ash floating out, planes not being able to land in Russia or Europe again. Wow. A big earthquake in Pennsylvania. Oh, you're kidding. No. Nope. That's close to us. Yeah. And I like I see this, like all the roads going red. Hmm. They're going to be red. With oh. blood? Well, uh, not blood, but like red mm. ash or something. Oh, that's scary. Yeah. That's it like is. that's like like nuclear war stuff. After. It is. Yeah, it yeah. is. And it's so you know we're coming close to that. Yeah. Oh. Earthquake in Hawaii. Earthquake. A big fire in Windsor and Detroit on the border. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. The river will catch on fire. Yeah. Imagine if the bridge burned down. <laughs> is it the uh, Ambassador Bridge? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Um, I don't know which city would prosper more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if that bridge burned down. Now, a lot of people have been calling me about streams of light in the sky. Yeah. And they, people from Midland and Aurelia called me and said they saw this all the time. Well, the, if people from Midland call you and they saw it, they probably seen it. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. seen her last night. <clears throat> yeah. And, uh, you know, I dreamt about a spaceship landing here. Where? Sugar just Beach? Like, like right here? Yeah, like just like Independence Day. You know, just like over, a huge one? Oh, huge. I'm out of here. Toronto, you know, like that. You're kidding. That'd no, I'm so not. Are they friendly or are they mean? Well, some are friendly, some are mean. I think you just got to be friendly yeah. with them. This See, I wonder if yeah. aliens are a lot like humans in that way where we've got a whole bunch of pricks, too, that, mm-hmm. uh, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah, you're right. There's good aliens and bad, bad aliens. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's so. always the spokesperson. Yeah. That's, that's the right. Yeah, yeah. I wonder who like the terrorist alien is, like that guy. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Extremist alien. Well, you know and what? No one likes them. There's suicide bomber <laughs> aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Way in the day there was a Hitler alien. <laughs> <laughs> what about a Chris Brown alien? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know. I know. What do you know? Off with the jokes. I know. Um, <laughs> a- anyway. <laughs> anyway. All right. Keep Jose, going. Yeah. Anyway, Jose, yeah. she yeah. says. Yeah. Anyway, like there is. <laughs> I, I, what do you think? It's I, really, I really see an invasion here. And I said this before. There's yeah. 
There's another planet with people like us, too. Yeah, cool. There is out there in space. So these aliens, when you see them landing, do they look the same as us or are they different? <clears throat> are they have the long fingers and they shoot lasers out of their butts and stuff like well, that? Well, one one alien <laughs> ship looks Make like... Make Sean laugh. They look He's like, like 24. <laughs> one <laughs> aliens with laser <laughs> butt lasers. <laughs> it's like poop. One alien ship looks like an octopus. Like oh, they're really? like octopus. Oh. Pusses or octopi. <laughs> and they've got a lot of hands. Octopussies? Really? Not one hand, a lot. Yeah. Wow. And but they're going to reach down and grab us or what are they going to do? Well, they're going to be curious. What if they have a move called they're the bi- alien? They're, they're bisexual? <laughs> they're curious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, snap. They got, they're got bisexual aliens. Oh, Don't tell my wife I'm here. <laughs> Making this probe very uncomfortable. But yeah, they but have that s- alien could do a great, great reach around with all those arms. <laughs> <laughs> they have sex by laser. We've come to discover the dirty Santas. <laughs> it's sex by laser. Sex by laser. Yeah. Sex by la- do we, sex would we, by la- would we like enjoy that? You may. Would we get pregnant with alien babies? I don't know, oh. but they may cut you in half with a laser. They're going to cut Todd in half with a laser? <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, but there's, uh, there is an alien Whoa, ship. that's what I'll say. Well they did cut him in half oh, with a laser. Oh. Now, what I think, if I think if these aliens come yeah. to Earth, okay, um, that there's another planet out there with people like us, mm-hmm. and they're going to so shoot down those aliens so we don't have to worry. Oh, the other people the are going to take people. care of these. Oh, oh, the good aliens. Yeah, the good aliens. Who are like <laughs> us, so. Oh. Yeah, dude, this is like Independence Day. Is yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they need it from our Earth. They need something from our planet. Well, every yeah. every alien movie I've ever seen has been water. about that. It's always like, water. Uh, like the last, tra- the second last Transformers, right? They they were like, oh, we got to, we need the all spark, and we got to suck the life out of this planet so that uh, Optimus uh, Dork can come to life, and, and then you know they take the pyramids of Egypt away. And let me tell you, they took a long time to build. I they think they built them. Well, aliens made, maybe did. But what I'm saying is right now, every movie is like that. Every movie has that theme. That's right. But are you? So if you saw a ship, would it. you be scared? If it was on my doorstep. Yeah. No, if, if I was you like saw a an Victoria's alien Secret ship. model or oh, something. Oh, shit. No, shit. Yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think you would be scared. They called the right? poop ship or again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, uh, I don't think I would be. No, no. I'd be cool. I'd go. I'd just explore it because if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, right? That's right. So you just go if you're the first guy to like befriend them. Imagine yeah. how famous you'd be. Yeah. You get killed, you'd be famous too. So either way, you exactly. win. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, an killed. alien ship could take over a television or radio station too. It'd be hilarious if they did yeah. it with like all jokes. You're right. listening <laughs> to the Bean Blonde now. No. <laughs> From Earth knock, Central. Knock. <laughs> Who's there? Greasy. Greasy. <laughs> Poo. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. You're all going to die. Now, I forgot to tell you that I did predict that rhino horns would be smuggled in. In and they from... Were, they're well, doing that. Into what? Well, they found them in California. Oh. Yeah, there's a big She did forget to tell us about the, the rhino horn it's smuggling. It's been going on for you, like 300 yeah. years. Who did yeah. you get to smuggle them in? Yeah, because <laughs> I had an email from hey. Zuchin. Hey. She's, a, she's hey. at the hey. Toronto hey. Zoo. Hey. Yeah. yeah. You smuggle some of those in. What you, a rhino horn! Are you, you, you a rhino donkey? No. Nope. <laughs> rhino mule. Whatever you call. Rhino donkey. <laughs> Sounds like a job for Elton John. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Elton has to How watch his health, need? though. Oh yeah. really? Oh, yeah. well, of course he's. Rhino. Now I see a pipe bomb near the Eaton Center. That's not oh, good. Oh no! Yeah. No. <laughs> well, good thing we moved. And <laughs> right now the Apollo Theater in New York is going to burn down. Or there's going to be now. Dinosaur bones are going to be stolen from a museum. And I do see Kat Von D. She's going to infect somebody by doing a, a tattoo, and they're going to sue her for millions. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, is it the same infection she got from Jesse James, or is it like a tattoo infection? A tattoo Did you hear about infection. this? She apparently got like some kind of crazy disease from him, I really? guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a tattoo it. infection. That's why she was so upset. Now, a midget... That's why she was so peeved off with Jesse James there. <laughs> it's like, gave him some kind of STD, I guess. He's been around. Yeah. Yeah, yes, I wouldn't do him. <laughs> now, a dwarf, a dwarf or a midget is going to be getting married to an NBA player who's oh about 7'3". <laughs> oh my awesome. Isn't that wild? 
because they could put a, you know, you like when you have like a, like a little puppy, you put a Coke can next yeah. to it to show the size of it. <laughs> Here, boy. Really, like he's gonna love her, or is it just he's a joke? He's gonna love her. Really? Yes. Like a, a oh, seven. Who could you see doing that? What what NBA player? I don't know. Well, seven three. Who's seven foot three in the? Seven three. NBA. I don't know. I don't even know the NBA anymore. Yeah. He looks a little bit You're like Denzel playing? Washington. A bit. You're kidding. No, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, but I just see him. I see this happening. Okay, we got it. Because they can love dwarfs. Got it. Anybody can be loved. You don't. <laughs> no, they can. It's in their contract. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> well, here we go. Another unloved dwarf. <laughs> now, a Toronto politician is going to be caught on camera smoking grass. Grass. Okay, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> smoking weed, I mean. Really? <laughs> yeah. Is it the mayor? I don't know. Oh. It's a Toronto politician. Oh. Have you heard about his new radio show? Oh, I heard something. Oh, yeah. He's got, his, he's got a new radio show, him and his brother. It's going to be on some AM station that has no listeners. So that'll be appropriate. Oh. And, 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 and he's like, he's so much, like, especially this TTC thing. He is so deeply disliked by so many important people. And did you hear the latest? Yeah. To subsidize the subway that he wants to build that no one else wants to build? He's going to start taxing people more. He's going to tax your parking. And that's how he's going to pay. So the guy that wasn't going to raise taxes didn't get rid of any of the taxes, and now he's going to raise taxes. And even a lot of the people who liked him and supported him are now turning, too. And that's yeah. how you know. because. Uh, so I hope it's a yeah. video of him. Do you want to hear? Yeah, dude, this is a clip of his show. Have you heard this? No. The the the, the hmm. Ford Brothers show. Have oh, a listen. Really? This is crazy. Are you going to be a guest? I don't know. Maybe. If it's, depends on what they're serving. If someone's eating in the washroom, they shouldn't be. It sounds like somebody it. farting. It's someone eating. Oh, okay. If that's the noise you make, you should go to a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Your ass has teeth. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not Rob Ford. <laughs> so that's a good radio show. Good job. Yeah, yeah well done. That's great. Yep. Man. I did say he would lose weight, though. <sighs> two pounds, dude. He lost two pounds yeah. in three weeks or something like that. And yeah. what did he say to someone goes, uh, two pounds in two weeks, huh? Yeah. What are you doing? Are you... <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. I'm uh, taking my uh, kid to the McDonald's. <laughs> that's what he said. I'm taking my kid to McDonald's. That doesn't sound like him. It sounds like Porky Pig. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's the difference. Keep and, going. Yes, anyway. Uh, there's going to be a fire on a subway train in New York and in the tunnel, like a big fire. Yep. I see a baby around Jen Aniston. Ooh, nice. Okay. You know is Jen? Jen Aniston. Jen yeah. Aniston. And I see a big crack in the Arctic Circle. Okay, huge. <laughs> and I see penguins coming south. Mm. Tons Wait, of penguins. There's no, there's penguins no penguins north. The, the north. ones that, I mean, what? Penguins going north. Oh, penguins going north, Cause probably. Because yeah. they're in the south. south. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the Arctic Circle. I Antarctic. Antarctic. And, Antarctic oh, Antarctic, yeah. whatever. Why don't you just drop that one? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. No, but I, I see it. Now, the Australian prime minister is in danger, in grave danger. Okay? Oh, really? Yeah. And I see, a, I see a problem, like a tragedy, when somebody is riding the rapids oh, somewhere. Lord. It's not good. There's Keep like 15, 15 yeah. people dead. A giant beehive will be found in Florida. What else? Giant. Uh, a movie hmm. star will pass... After they choke on a chicken bone. <laughs> the past the chicken bone? A chicken bone. No. Um, that's funny. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, I like yep. that one. Like See? older young. Mama Cass type thing. Oh, there's going to be a terrorist attack at a dog show in Germany. <laughs> oh, I'll leave the dog the out. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that's how desperate we are for attention. We're bombing dog shows. Actually, right. that would get probably start a war because people are so so sensitive about dogs. Yeah. The, yeah, PETA I would. What's up, bomb? a lot of terrier. <laughs> <laughs> The Shih Tzu went kaboom. <laughs> and what about the Schnauzer shot? No. Boom! Ah! <laughs> Schneiser Schnauzer. <laughs> that, that's the one. <laughs> what what is like? brown, red, and all over the place? <laughs> <laughs> hint, hint, it's going to be that dog in five minutes. Schneiser <laughs> shot, no. I'm a dog lover. Okay. <laughs> Who isn't? 
Um, <laughs> That's fun. I want to do that all day. <laughs> you know who isn't a dog lover? That hooker had her arm eaten by the pit bull a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah, that's right. okay. Not a dog lover. <laughs> Anyway, go ahead. Okay, now I do see a U.S. naval ship being attacked. Hmm. And, you know, like, Obama's all right, but he was... Hey, thank you. (laughs) He was singing, he's cool, but he was singing at a concert. Yep, yep. Well, well, the Syrian government is killing people and killing. He's allowed. Listen, this is not a. This isn't a, a for you to come and tell us about no, your political killed, views. But it's getting next to my next prediction. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, oh. the U.S. will invade Syria. Oh, because yeah, because they're the. Why don't what, you just say I, that? I hate that yeah. country. You do? Uh, yeah, I why? do. You know, because it, Canada. What they're doing to Syrians, by and large, and I don't want to get into that, but is terrible and it's awful. But you know what? We all we have done. As as a, as a world of free people thinking that we are in charge of everybody else, yeah. all we've done is meddle in other people's business. And you know what? Some some countries need dictators because they got crazy extremists. And so, so some dictators aren't good. Some are necessary. It's not up to us to go into that. And that's why I hate the United States. I, I, I hate it. They stick their nose in other people's business. I know it's terrible and there's war crimes going on, but who who we're not the people that go and intercede. Right. We're no, not. It's their no, business. No, Canada too. doesn't. Yeah. They're new, we're neutral, like yeah. Switzerland. And 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 what yeah. are more? You see, in some countries, it's okay. Like you, you catch a kid stealing a loaf of bread, you can put him in the Coliseum Square and invite three thousand people down. They all pay ten rubles a person, and you watch the little kid get his arm cut off. That's that's how it works there. I don't like it at all. And some of the videos and word uh, things I've heard about uh, the way children get punished for stealing when they're starving or makes me sick. But that's their country. I can't decide what's right for them. I think we should have capital. I think we should have more of that in Canada. Not with the kids, but, you know, someone abuses someone that does something stupid. We should be allowed to hang them somewhere and let everybody come and have a look. Can we get back to the German dog jokes? <laughs> 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 what about my golden retriever? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That German shepherd went kaboom. <laughs> but, it's know, in the name. <laughs> but, you know, we, we are on the verge of World you War know why, III. You know why the German shepherds yeah. attack any animal known to man? Why is this? It's this German. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> but you know what? We're on the verge of World War Three. Oh. When? Soon. Now, this is all part of the 2012 thing. Oh, come on. I'm telling you. Now, Iran and Israel, the United yeah, States. Yeah, how is this going to shake down? It's not going to be good. Okay? What are we, what's, can, yeah, World War Three is probably not good. Hey, what, statement of the year. Yeah. <laughs> How's World War Three going to, not good, not good. Yeah, we're very close to that. Nah. Okay, but listen, oh so you're telling me we're going to have World War III. Um, is it, this is my prediction. The U.S., Israel, England, a little bit of France, some Canadians are going to invade uh, Iran or something. Yes. Syria, Iran. Yeah. And then all the rest of those uh, nations around there that don't like that go, yeah, and then they're going to get involved. Pile on. They'll pile on. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're def- and, then, and, then, and then someone like China is going to go, hold the phone. <laughs> Do you have any lead-painted guns we've made for you people? <laughs> 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 don't lick them. You can shoot them, and then they'll get involved. And all of a sudden, it's going to be a major issue. That's my opinion. That's right. And also, and then Russia's going to say something to that Putin guy. He's going to be like, eh, I like the play. Like the yeah, Russia and China. Russia and China. Russia and, Russia and China. Yeah. <laughs> and, on, yeah. and on top of this, all these earthquakes and natural disasters. Wow. Uh, this is watching too many. Wait and see. You wait and see. I no, agree. No, you with wait it. and see, Todd. We're only in the beginning of the year. Yeah, you wait and see, Todd. (laughs) Okay. Apparently, I gotta wait and see, (laughs) Todd. The Chorus Broadcasting System presents the Dean Blundell Show. Gonna be a super duper program for you. 102.1. The Edge. Hi, The Edge. Hi, I have a question for Nikki. Yeah. Are you on a really little phone? (laughs) Yeah, well, there's people around, so. Okay. What's your name? Anna. Hey, Anna, what's your question for Nikki? Well, my father passed away before I had my kids. And ever since my daughter, who is now five, was two and a half, she's been kind of saying things about him that she shouldn't know. And it's really freaking my husband. It was like, like granddad cheated on grandma. (laughs) No, like things like he died of a brain cancer and she'll say, mommy, how come grandpa has a headache or papa had a headache? What was that? Mm -hmm. And she'll say, oh, there's papa over there and point him out. Crazy, they're talking. Yeah, it's really freaking us out, and now my son, who's two and a half, is starting to do it. Okay. 
Nikki? Yeah, and you know what? Children do see these ghosts. They see dead or people. Pres- they do. They see dead people, like the Sixth Sense, that uh, movie with that's Bruce why Willis. I said it like that. Yeah. They're anyway, not into we got the reference, Nikki. Okay. They're not into all that? Well, me and my husband aren't, so it's kind of yeah. weirding us. Yeah, but they don't, you don't have to be into that for your kids to see a ghost. Yeah. Absolutely not. It's sort of like, it's um, I'll tell you, it's sort of like when you come home from a business trip and your wife's like uh, in the bathroom and there's two other people in your bed, a guy and a girl, and then you realize that she's in there watching some kind of freaky dog porn and they're going to do some crazy stuff with a schnauzer. And you didn't know that about her, but you didn't have to because you didn't share that with her. It's just kind of her own thing. <clears throat> What just you? like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but Anna, when what I'm saying has nothing to do with you. That's all I'm saying. Uh, yeah. When, when did your dad pass? <laughs> uh, seven years ago. It was your father. <laughs> yes. Okay, it was yeah. seven years ago. You just asked, when did your dad pass? Okay. She said seven <laughs> years ago. He goes, that was your father. <laughs> <laughs> was your daddy? <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, Anna, um, with one of the children, like I, I would say, even the doc, the spirit of your father could be there too. Okay. I know you're not believing this, but you know well, she is. Uh, like, That's why she called. Yeah, why she's taking Mainly. it all in. Well, she said she's not really. Her and her husband don't believe. Well, in they're that not. Kind of thing. Th- yeah. This hasn't happened to them. So, right. is, am I correct in assuming that, ma'am? Exactly. So it hasn't happened to you. You don't discount what she's going through, but it's weird for you. So you're trying to get some information. You got it. Yeah, there you go. but you know what? It won't God, hurt it the children at all. In mm-hmm. fact, it's You're very, it's very good if that happens. Phil makes a lot of and um, <laughs> you know, it's really a nice thing because it means that your father is around those children. Yeah, he's taking care of the kids. He's, he's take, being a good grandpa. Was, was, was he a douchebag or was he a good guy? No, he, he was he's a great guy. Okay, well that's good then. He wants to be around the kids. Was he a powerful man? Was he? Did, did he have presence in a room? Was he that he type was, of guy? He was um, a police officer okay um, well maybe he's watching out like he would naturally do for your for your for his grandchildren for your children yeah he he was he kind of took care of everyone did he that means you guys can go out you and your husband to a movie and just leave them there (laughs) babysitting yeah and they're fine (laughs) and they're fine (laughs) or you what you could do is uh, run in the room at night when your kids are talking about him and try and uh, give give your dad maybe an outstanding ticket (laughs) <laughs> no, no. Dad, you know what, Anna, you may see him. guys on the force him. and get it taken care of, please? Do you mind? Okay. You know, you okay. may see him by December of this year. No problem. You're going to see something. Does she have to believe in it a little more, too, to, a, to a see little, him? A little yeah. bit more. That's that. how it works. It's like food from Neverland. It doesn't yeah. exist unless you really believe in like, it. Like, if you're skeptic, yeah. it won't come like, up. Like, build it and they will come. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's exactly it. But I, I'm getting a Tony or Anthony yeah. around you in the future. There you go. Hi, The Edge. There he is, there. Who's this? Is it Tim Burton Dave? Who is this? Is it Tim Burton Dave right now? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> is there some boiled eggs? Some boiled eggs? Is there somebody I can talk? It's Todd there, please. Yeah, who is this? Yeah, we're all here. Who is this? Oh, uh, th- th- this is a ring that I have to come on go and paint on one eggs. <laughs> <laughs> who? <laughs> Say that name again. G G U I. Yeah. Yeah, okay. What do you need? The uh, I I just want to ask one question. Yeah, go ahead. The why 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 people the people don't don't answer me on the phone? Why don't people what? You're from you on the phone? They some yes. Why they don't they not, why don't they understand you on the phone? Yes. I don't know. I can guess. You're an alien from an totally, outer planet. I totally uh-huh. would have no idea. No, 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 no. I ca- I called two times today, and they no answer. They say they say I ring her. Why you why you no answer? Did I answer this time? Uh, yes, you did. Big then, boss. then who wins? <laughs> the, me. me. <laughs> no. <laughs> me, I win. No, I thought you were sneaky, big boss. <laughs> 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 you have a question for Nikki there, big fella? Uh, yeah, Nikki. Yes, big fella. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki. Nikki, uh, Nikki, my nine door. <laughs> Nikki, nine door. <laughs> Nikki, nine door? What is that? <laughs> Hi, the edge. Hi, yeah. yeah, the edge. Going, guys? Good, dude. What's up? Oh, just checking in with Nikki. You want to find out what's going on with Syria. You want to find out? Well, she just told you. You got she vacation can, plans or something? Or you want to see, Are you Syrian? You can watch CNN. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just thought I'd check it out, see what she's saying. Mm. Okay, now. Yeah, you know, strangely enough, <clears throat> many leaders of uh, many countries have inquired uh, this very question, especially with Nikki. 
Like, really? They wanted, yeah, because Obama called yesterday and said, what's up with Syria? What, yeah. Was that after he sung? Yeah. No, she I read believe... for Bin Laden just before he died. She predicted it. I, I, the edge. I actually, Obama's following me on Twitter. <laughs> me too. No great shake. Everybody. Hey, dude. How you doing, buddy? Good, what's up? Uh, listen, um, I watched that movie Red State uh, with Kevin Smith, the, the one that he made. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was kind of wondering, like... Did he have a shot at getting an Academy Award? Because apparently he did this, like all his advertising and, and the whole, you know, the, the, the backboard of the industry. He did it himself. So yeah, he fun- Yeah, no, no, he didn't submit it to anything. He just wanted to make a movie that people that wanted was to watch. one of the best movies awesome. I've ever seen. Have you guys I, seen it? It's like I had yeah. hooks in the back of my head. I couldn't look away. Yeah. It was unbelievable. Also, I had a question for Psychic Nikki. All right. Um, uh... Uh, she said earlier that she was going to eat her muff. Uh, she's got a toque. Uh, Sarah, it's sure a toque. Could, it's a toque. It's a, a hairy. It's, I got, I'm toque. holding it. I'm actually pet. I'm touching. It's actually, the, muff the name right of now. it. Yeah, it is. She'd it's eat her muff. hat. It's a muff. Yeah, right. and I forgot what I said. I would eat it for. Hi, the edge. If uh, Tree of Life won Best Picture. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. It was a tree of <laughs> she life. already forgot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I forgot that end of piss too. I forgot to piss. <laughs> yeah. That's well, how I feel about. I the forgot movie. to go to the washroom to piss. I mean. I forgot to go to the bathroom and just pissed right here. I just pissed. By the edge, sorry. Hi, I, was, I just have a question for Nikki. Yep. Um, my brother and I in our house have been having really, really strange, strange dreams, like almost like paralysis. Mm. Like, oh, yeah. I get those. Out. Yeah. Yeah, you talk I to was them. just wondering, like, is it something in the house? Is it me? I was just wondering if you knew anything T- about Tell it. me more about the dreams. Um, like, you almost can't wake up. You feel like someone's in the room. Like, I almost feel like someone's sitting on my bed and yeah. feeling yep. comforters down. Dude, do you, ever, do you ever have this one where you're awake and you're screaming in your own brain to try yeah. and get up, but you can't get up because it's like you're frozen? Yeah, like I'm screaming for my mom to yeah. like come to my room to wake me up because I'm terrified. Yeah, I get those yeah. all the time. It's yeah. weird. You scream for your mom? Yeah, they're yeah. orbs. <laughs> <laughs> they are orbs around you. And you. And I've said this before on the program that you have to get a digital camera and take pictures. Oh, paranormal yeah. stuff. Is it, it, sorry, night? ma'am, and, and correct me if I'm wrong. The, this only happens when you're in bed. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah, get a digital yeah. camera and take a whole bunch of pictures. I did that when Dean was lot. screaming. Yeah. But yeah. It and turned out really it different than you expected. <laughs> there were some orbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah because well. there is. And it's a very scary feeling, but that's where they hover over the bed for some there reason. There's an actual ghost in my room. There's an actual yeah. ghost there. Or go. I think there's more than one, my dear. But don't be scared. They won't hurt you. No, yeah. they just want to fill you up and hold you down a bit. <laughs> no. Yeah. Are there people I know? Um, I think they're people that could be from your past that have passed on. Yeah. Yeah. But there's also a couple of them that aren't in your life either. Okay. Good one. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) The Dean Blundell Show. 102.1. The Edge. The Dean Blundell Show. The Dean Blundell Show. 102.1 The Edge. Thank you, Nikki's here. Good morning. Good morning, Dean. How are you? I am great. It's Good. Friday. It is Friday. Friday. Um, you came in here uh, really all guns blazing this morning about stuff going on in people's lives. And then you said to me, a 66-year-old lady would like to have sex with me. Yeah. 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 And that bothered me because I'm into cougars. I'm right. currently seeing one. Right. <laughs> um, oh, it's, it's a year, like a year and a half. I'm like two, four, eight years older than me. Yeah, Dean's into mm. cougars. Yeah, um, terrific. He's not into Asian. What <laughs> Asian? What's Asian? Well, H ancient people. Eight? No, eight? No, not ancient. <laughs> oh, ancient. Ancient. Yes. I mean, ancient. She just can't say the word. She's not <laughs> saying nothing about. That was yeah. close. Yeah. Yeah. Ancient. I she mean, just forgot ancient. the word. <laughs> You're not into agents? I did. <laughs> Dean doesn't date any female agents. I did that agents. on purpose. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. It's okay. You forgot the word. You it's like porpoise. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Anyway, I, 60, 70-year-old women, 50-year-old women, yeah, what's socialites, going on? they all want sex with you. Why? You, I don't know. They like, they like, well, I know you're, you've lost 20 pounds. You look no, great. No, why? No, tell them why. Well, they just think that you're, you know, just fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. They, well, they even I, I, married ones want to have sex with you. Even married chicks? Yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> are, are these conversations you're having with women, or is this just, are you just no, dreaming up, about old no, ladies they, having they sex with up, me? They come up to me and they say, oh, tell Dean I want to have sex with him. <laughs> no, they don't. They do, honestly, honestly. 
Can't I was eating a Baskin Robbins ice cream somewhere. <laughs> I was <And> eating. <laughs> who eats ice cream in the winter? <laughs> I don't believe who this. Who dinner at Baskin Robbins? <laughs> So you're having dinner at Baskin Robbins. Yes. Ridiculous. And what happened? I like Rocky Road. Rocky Road. Okay. Thank anyway, you. anyway, this woman comes in. And she says, "Oh, Psychic Nikki from the Dean Blondell oh. show." And I said, "Yes, that's right." And she says, "Oh, tell Dean I want to have sex with him. I love him." How old is she? She would 60. have been about fifty-seven. Ugh. Yeah, but she looked good. Was she ancient? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I mean, not back to the pyramids, but yeah. you know. Dude, I was at a uh, I was at a charity event the yeah. other day, la- sure. a week ago, and there was a female there who I was talking to, and then she introduced me to her mother, who's probably like 57, 60. smoking the hot, like the hottest lady in Toronto. Like, yeah. It was incredible. You trust me? You wouldn't you can't say that to all of them. Like, Ugh, there's some. There's no, some good ones. I didn't. I didn't yeah, say yeah. that to all of them. I just well, said, you, you know, could- my initial response to finding out a fifty seven year old in Baskin Robbins would like to have sex with me was. Uh, yeah, if she's eating ice cream at that age, you're yeah, probably right. Thank okay. you. Well, she actually didn't eat ice cream. She's having a milkshake. <laughs> oh, they're even better. Much healthier. But, you know, like all these women, even young ones I'm coming even, up. No, really? Yeah. And what they want to have sex with you and Todd. But mostly me. Uh, mostly. Why is everything yeah. a game with you? It's not. I'm just <laughs> pointing <laughs> it out <laughs> that I am superior. Yeah. You're superior. In many ways. <laughs> you win. And thank Derek, you. I had one once for you. <laughs> <laughs> but she was about eighty. She was so cute, and she was deaf. She was eighty, was she? Yeah, she, she. Yeah, she did have a hearing problem. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Maybe I'll just to make her feel better. I'll go. Yeah, you should. Oh, okay. Um, it was you wasn't it? Nikki? Anyway, that, they, you know, and this other Great. younger one wanted Thank to you. have. You know, I know. <laughs> yes. You just both irresistible. That's nice of you. So are your guns. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. I could probably resist them. <laughs> Me too. They're nice, though. They're beautiful. Hey. Thank you. You're just, an attractive woman. Thank I just you. made that up. Like she made up all the stories about us. <laughs> no, she's hot. Thank you. Are you making some of that stuff? Huh? No, on it. People don't just walk up to other people. Yeah, and go, yeah I want to have sex with your friend. I'm telling you, I was just, you know, I was just slurping down my Baskin oh. Robbins, you know, Ew. and this woman came up this to me. Really she was odd. very nice. Was she hot? Yeah, she, actually, she wasn't bad. She wasn't bad. She looked like Hillary Clinton. That's not bad. That's I'd hate to see what ugly is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, she liked you. She liked you. But there's younger ones too. The, a young, uh, younger woman likes you too. Uh, this is from Jen. She said, "I think Nikki is trying to drop a hint about the cougars wanting to sleep with you. How old is she? <clears throat> she would be considered a silver fox or a cougar. Yes." I'm uh, more of a cougar. Okay, thanks. Cougar on a, and a on, half. On a broomstick. <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks a lot. Witchy cougars, we call them woogers. Yeah, no, wooger. <laughs> I wouldn't even know how to fly a broomstick. Sure, you just get on it. You it know would to be ride very, one? It would be very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. Probably not. Depends like which, a, it depends which end. What if it's ribbed? It would be like a teeter totter. <laughs> not teeter totter. You know, like a teeter totter? I'm so grossed out by our conversation. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. We're on a teeter totter now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so you got some, now, now, first of all, let me let me say do, have we already played one stop? So we only have one left? Okay, good. So we got some time? Okay, thanks. Um,. Good job with the train derailment. I mean, very sad, but you did predict that here on this show numerous times. Yeah, and my, you know what, my heart. You even predicted the area. I did. But you know what, my heart goes out to the people, Mm -hmm. and it's a very sad thing that happened, and hopefully it won't happen again. Does anybody, now Derek, you you like trains? I sure do. Um, Does anybody understand the, so this thing's going, it's supposed to be going 15 miles an hour, and it was going like 67. Yeah. And like some of the wheels fell off, I guess, or something. It was just going too. It was like cooking. Mm-hmm. But do you understand why that? It, like, do, do, I guess you wouldn't. Do, do you? Do you know how trains are supposed to work that way? Are wheels supposed to fall off going that fast? I think what happened is they they got onto you know when the the track splits off. The, yeah, and they went right through it really quickly. And you're supposed to slow down when you hit those things. So it might have just uh, L- dislodged sent the wheels and going <clears throat> the wrong direction or something like that. Yeah, because the wheels were still on the track, but none of the people were. I wonder if someone like built like a, a ramp or something. <laughs> but yeah, you predicted that big time. Yeah, and it's a it's a sad thing that happened. Yeah, it is. It's so sad. I also predicted a fire on a cruise ship too. You did? Yeah. Yep. And also, I did predict all those huge 
tornadoes in the Midwest, in the mm-hmm. U.S. tabloid, The yep. Sun, and here on the radio. So did Frankie, though. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> give you credit where credit to Some freak okay. job in a park in Newfoundland said the same thing. But oh, okay. Good work. Oh, thanks. Yeah. But I'm sad for those people. Too. Hurricane so. warning! <laughs> but, you know, there's going to be bigger tornadoes in areas that we don't even think about. Like? Well, I mean, California, for instance. They don't get a lot of tornado activity there, but they will. Did you um, predict, I want to ask you this, that uh, monkey dying... The monkey? Which monkey? The, the monkey died. That monkey. Oh, that the mon- the gorilla? Nope. Yeah. Did you predict that I one? I did. No. <laughs> I <laughs> predicted the gorilla Don't set her up. <laughs> You're being a jerk. No, yeah. but I did predict a monkey would No, die. Davy Jones, the Davy monkey. Jones, the lead oh, that singer. Mon- Actually, I did on this show. What'd you say? Last summer, I said this tragedy around the monkeys, a group of the monkeys, and you said to me, Okay, I don't remember that Yeah, well, all. I remember it, and I've got it on Twitter oh or God, somewhere. I'll I find it. did say it, dude. I, I know did. She did. She did. I did, because Dean said to me, monkeys? Like a monkey, like a gorilla? Yeah, we were making fun of the yeah, monkeys. Yeah, you were making fun of well, them. Well, yeah. you know, when Charlotte Nash heard a monkey died, she was smoking happy. <laughs> Get it? I know. This is monkey Smoking <laughs> happy. Smoking happy. That was terrible, that big gorilla. Which but I, I have a um, actually uh, a prediction, okay. not quite a gorilla, but Bigfoot uh, is going to go into cities. Like yeah, Seattle, you told us Washington. this last week. Yeah. yeah. Last week? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You said well, Bigfoot's going to start hanging Sash-watch. around. Or Sasquatch. What is it? <laughs> Sasquatch. <laughs> yep. Yeah, going into the cities. What, what did you just call it? A Sasquatch? A Sasquatch. <laughs> Whatever the hell it is. Yeah, it's, it's like a, whatever a the hell watch. date it is, you know? Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> whatever the hell it no, is. No, no, no. Say the name a of it. The- a sash watch. Isn't there a <laughs> Dude, it was even funnier when she said whatever the hell it is. <laughs> <laughs> She's a, she can predict stuff. She just can't spell it or say uh, it. Right? Right. There you go. What else you got? Now, a woman's going to give birth to a half frog, half human baby in China. Oh, get out I'm of here. I'm telling you. I'm getting it. A oh. half frog baby. You've yes. Come off half, the rails. A half frog, half. Yeah. Wah, ribbit. <laughs> exactly. Will it be able to jump like crazy? Probably. It's half frog oh, and half human. How is someone going to have a half frog baby? Oh. Like, you can't. You, you gotta. You the gotta DNA doesn't even match up. No yeah. one's have. She can't have sex with a frog. The how DNA. Do you know? Maybe some tadpole got in there. <laughs> you know, it's just like. A, D, no, listen to me. Yes, Dean. The DNA between humans and frogs is yeah. virtual, complete. It is not, you can't even imagine how incompatible it is. Hey, hey. And on top of it, I don't know a frog unless it's the world's biggest frog with something big enough to make that happen. Well, it's going to happen. And if it does happen, that woman is, is, is very troubled to be doing that with frogs. Very, very troubled. Well, yes. Oh, man. Uh, I, there's I'm, some good news and bad news. You have a baby and. Half of it's a frog, but the bad news is it has warts. <laughs> and you should see your area. <laughs> yeah, but it could be a freak thing, you know, genetically. It could be. Could be. I. Maybe. Well, you know what? Did you see that the picture of that lamb? Yeah, but I heard it wasn't real. I read all over it. It's like yeah. a little, like a, a half weird. half lamb, half human being. Yeah, I don't know. No, but they, they think the, that they think that in some countries people are porking their animals too. So yes, and I believe it. And in the future, people are going to be able to have babies, but a baby could clone their pet with a like it could have their pets. Oh, I see. You're mixing them. Mixing now. them. Yeah. So they maybe they want a pet. And a baby. I'm jumping off. That is so stupid. Okay, I know. It's not stupid. It's very stupid. And in the... F- Someone wants a baby and a pet, so they have a baby frog boy, girl? No, she might have not had the frog on <clears> purpose. <throat> it might just be a genetic... Is it a? Is it going to be a... Like, is it a girl or a boy? I don't know. Probably a female frog. Oh, that'd be cool when yeah. she's like 25 with that tongue. <laughs> well... Probably join yeah, the Yeah, you'd have no flies in your mouth. Hey, 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 do it from over there. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> or maybe it's a monster movie coming out. Oh, up. so here it is. No, no, no. It's on TV. What? There's a half human, half frog. It's called Where? an anencephalic baby. And there's a video of it. And really? it's gross. Really? Let me gross. See you see. You've got to be kidding. See the frog baby. A frog baby. Is that just because it developed right wrong in the womb or something? Yeah, just a really ugly kid. Yeah. See? That's hilarious. Dude, it's like there's a, a video of it. Kermit the Frog. Dude, there's a video. Oh, really? I don't even watch it. So I was right then. No. There's a video of it and stuff. 
Really? Yeah. Oh right there. my god. Oh my is that god. real? Yeah. I can't, I can't even watch it. I'm so freaked out. That is freaking me out. I just told you you were crazy, and you're probably not crazy. You're just maybe, you know. Get a Google. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you can no, type honestly, in a search engine. Honestly, I swear to God did that I did not that Google that. Okay, uh, I, I got to figure out what this is called. It's called anencephalic baby. Wow. And it, and it, this is a syndrome. It's not like a frog baby. It's like a thing that happens. Like it free, half the head's open and stuff. Ew. It's disgusting. Can it live? Does, can it like? Can it? Can it have a flourish in life? Can it? Uh, Nail Miss yeah, Piggy. Yeah, Baby <laughs> K. <laughs> Anencephalic Baby came Center major U.S. Court case. Uh, bioethicists. Um, yeah, what is That's it? Wild. What is it? This is. Uh, uh, baby K was born at Fairfax Hospital at the time. She was missing most of her brain, including her cortex. Only the brain stem had developed during pregnancy. Mm-hmm. A portion of the brain responsible for autonomic regulatory functions. Yeah, so the head's open. You're born with your head Ooh. open. But why does it look like a frog? Well, because the because eyes are the, massive. If you ever look at a fetus, when w- they, they all look like they even we even have gills for a certain period of time when we're in the uh, in the womb. Yeah. Like a fish. Yeah, it's like Kevin Costner. And some yeah. are webbed, right, too. Like you get yep. the uh, webbed toes and webbed hand syndromes. Can you imagine carrying a baby for nine months and giving birth to Then it to comes a out like that. Frog? No. Oh, boy. The baby's mother had been notified of her condition following an ultrasound. She's been advised to terminate the pregnancy. She said no because of her Christian faith. Oh, that again. Jesus and stuff. Oh. Baby K dies two and a half. Yeah. Oh, died? Lived for two and a half years. Two and a half years? Yeah. Wow. wow. I wonder how hard it could have fly, how, uh, if it could jump. So they look like, no, they just look like frogs. Oh, okay. The <laughs> face, dude. You st- <laughs> well, I see races another one and stuff. Being born. Yeah, I bet. There's a whole bunch <laughs> now, out there. Now, in the future. This- oh, you know what? I'm going to say this. I'm not honest. Yeah. This makes me so sad. Yeah, that's it little, is little sad. tiny things. Yeah, yeah it, it is really cute sad. things. You just want to hug them and kiss them, and they come out, and they're all freaked out. That's terrible for the little fella. I feel so awful. It's bad. It makes me sad. Now, in the, what else you got? In the future, you can. There's remote <laughs> viewing. Now, I do that remote viewing as a psychic. Oh. I can I can go forward into the future and I can go back into time. Oh, like that movie Click. Right. Yes. And in the future, you can be in two places at the same time. Really? Yeah. So if you told your wife you don't have a mistress on the side, you can be with a mistress and your wife. How? Because remote viewing. Well, you can see that. What do you mean remote viewing? Like in your eyes? Astro- Derek is very Astro- upset right now. Astral projection. Okay, great. Okay. What else you the got? The power of mind and soul. Thank you. In the future. Okay. Now there's going to be in killer shrimps off the coast of Louisiana. Killer shrimps. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, man. That's cool. We seven, got seven gumbo <laughs> shrimp. We got tiger shrimp, and we got killer shrimp. Yeah, this is seven. <laughs> Shrimp. Killer shrimps off the coast of Louisiana. Killer that shrimp. oil spill that did it. Right. Mm. Bubba gum shrimp. <laughs> killer seven foot Sh- shrimp. Shrimp jambalaya. Would you be scared? <laughs> what, the strangler killer shrimp. shrimp. Killer shrimp. Got the stabbing shrimp. Damn mm. shrimp just kill my friend shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, guys, this is true. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You know what's going to happen? Someone is going to die in like a shrimp net or something. Yeah, and I like, told and you. Guys, sort of, guys no, I told happen. you. Yeah. Really? I said on your show last week, guys. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, there's going to be a robbery at a fashion show. They're going to steal all the fashions. The clothes? A, like it, maybe the Paris oh, shows no. are here. Yeah, New York. You mean the clothes? They're going to steal all the fashions. are going to be worth millions. Mm. It's going to be a fashion robbery. <laughs> it's going to be a huge earthquake in Japan. And yeah. I see the Great Wall of China. Tumbling. Give those people a break. Lord. The Great Wall of China is in, in, that's in China. <laughs> There's a big difference. I know, but it's, gonna, I see it it's not called the Great Wall of Japan. <laughs> it's in the name. <laughs> it's going to become tumbling down. And I see Hong Kong on fire. Okay. Now... <laughs> Now, I also see another train derailment in Alberta. Uh, there's going to be poison sugar. Okay, there's going to be a disease around sugar. Mm-hmm. Really? Poison sugar. So, stay away from the sugar. Okay, thanks. Yeah, okay. And I see somebody... Uh, now, there's going to be somebody like... Do you uh, remember the no. movie Cast Away with Tom Tom Hanks, Hanks yeah, yeah, and Wilson, the ball. Yeah. Can't, I couldn't watch that movie. Why? You didn't like his growth? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it was a plane crash. Oh, that for oh, you. It was scared. the most realistic. Totally, it was very realistic. Very real. I couldn't. I couldn't watch it. 
Like I went and watched it, and I had to. I left the theater when the plane started going down, and then I came back when everything settled down, and he washed up, and I figured. And then I made the mistake of watching it once, and it freaked me right out. Really? Remember yeah. Castaway Two? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Derek got a trailer for it. Yeah, <laughs> that's really? awesome. Well, anyway, they're going to find this man who's been on an island in the South Pacific for twenty years. Yeah, but he doesn't have a ball name Wilson. He has a wild boar as a friend. Really? Yeah. They're going to find a dude that's been on a deserted island for 20 years with a wild boar as exactly. a friend? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You know what his name is? What? The Susan. Lion King. Oh, Susan. okay. The Lion King. He's a boar. <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show. Dean Blundell Show. On 102.1 The Edge. Psyche Nikki's here. Uh, she wants to get through a couple of these yeah. quick ones, right? Yeah. Now, there's going to be a non- another John Lennon thing. Like, um, somebody's going to kill a rock star. Really? Yeah. Oh. And I do see another royal baby. And I see Vietnam Ho Chi Minh City on fire. Mm-hmm. And possibly a, a large earthquake in that area. There you go. There you go. Take some calls? Yeah. Hi, The Edge. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. Who's this? It's, my name is Rob. What's up? I'm um, just calling to find out about, I uh, just want to ask uh, Psycho Nikki that my wife and I have been trying for a baby for a while now. I just want to know if there's, she, she sees anything in the future for us. Okay, now th- how long have you been trying and what are your astrological signs? Uh, she was born in January, so I don't know what that makes her. I'm a uh, cancer. Okay. Uh, I was born in July, about two years now, two and a half years. Uh, okay, sir, sir, I- can I ask you a question? Where are you putting it? <laughs> <laughs> the front? Front, back, everywhere, I guess. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I'm getting April of a year. April of this uh, year? It, it could be this year or next year. Is either the baby's going to be born in the month of April, because there is going to be a baby. Or you're going or to you're get pregnant. Or you're going to conceived in April. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's very soon. Oh, good. Very soon. Yeah. Sounds good. All Sorry. right, dude. All so you best. don't have to Congrats. go all, all ways. So. By the edge. Hello? Hi. You talking to me? Yep. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, yeah, I guess so. Is that's what we're doing. Okay, great. I have a question for Nikki. What's your name? Uh, Stephanie. Where are you calling from? Um, Markham. Live in Markham? No. You just work there? Yeah, I'm just working here. What do you do? Photography styling. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, what's your question? My question is, I got in a huge fight last night um, with my boyfriend. He lives with me. And what an a-hole. I know. What did he do? What happened? Anyhow, he's not... Well, okay. Let's just say um, my dog... I was trying to get her to doggy daycare today, yesterday, and she wouldn't get in the car because the snow was so beautiful outside last night. So anyhow, I couldn't get her in the car, and then he got all pissed off at me because I freaked out on him because I said, you know, he's your responsibility too, and I just can't handle it so much. So he didn't come home last night. He and the dog stayed at a friend's house last night. Yeah, that's uh, pretty extreme to be getting in an argument over a dog getting in a car and then he just doesn't come home with the dog. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you need to be a psychic to realize maybe he's not as stable as you think. <laughs> Thanks, Dean. You're welcome. Nikki? But I still see you together. Oh, good. Yeah. And and what is your sign and what is his sign? I'm a Taurus. He's an Aries. Oh, that's good because they're both in good shape right now. So you see us working it out? I do. And Great you're gonna get makeup another, sex. You're going to get another dog, too. Yeah, so that like if he freaks out again, he can leave one with you. Exactly. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, I see you together. He still loves you. Uh-huh. Yeah, but he just freaked out. Well, you know, I do put, I, I do take care of a lot around the house. Right. And I find it's getting a little redundant, and it's stressful. Dude, that's, this is the age of, of, like, women. It really is. Women that do way more than dudes... And then they have a breaking point, and they snap. Yeah. And then the guy goes, oh, you can take my ball and go home. Exactly. I'd love to find a woman like you. Yeah, me too. Oh, thanks. I'm always doing more than... What are you guys doing tomorrow night? <laughs> <laughs> do you, Walking do you, your dog. Do you have a dog? <laughs> <laughs> no, and she won't tomorrow night, man. <laughs> Anyhow. All right. So, Nikki, what's up? So, should I just wait it out? And- I should. You should wait it out. But you know what? Two years from now, there could be somebody else, too. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm getting that, too. Do you, li- now, do you like anybody you else, or do you like this guy a lot? Uh, I do like him a lot, but um, I find that I'm the adult in the relationship a lot of the time, so mm. I'm getting a little Get tired used to of it. it. <laughs> You're going to take a picture of a man with a towel only. Sorry? You're going to take a picture of a man with a towel? 
A man with a towel. Yeah, like yeah. on a beach or something. Yeah, you guys are going to have an affair. You're going to go somewhere uh, like for a couple of days, maybe a day, uh, and then and then you, you know your husband's not going to or your boyfriend's not going to know, and then you're going to go down to like a uh, an, you know a secret location. You're going to meet for like 20, 25 hours, and then you're going to take a picture of this guy, and he's going to be in a, in a in a towel, and you're going to be all hot, and you're going to have your your underwater Kodak camera, and this is going to get wicked. I think Dean, you created that for us. Maybe I did. That's a good idea. Or she's just going to work at a rub and tug. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> or maybe it's her, her significant other in a towel. Yeah, maybe it yeah. is. Maybe it is. Yeah. That sounds sexy. Yeah, is, I'm getting do, the are you still? How's the sex? <sighs> mm. oh. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> we forgot to lead with that question. Yeah. Okay, babe. What are you doing tomorrow night? Because you're out of that one. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the dog or it anything. It ain't good. It ain't good, is it? Uh, it's, no, it's just not happening enough. How how much do you, does it happen? Oh, I don't know. I'm on the radio. I don't like to tell those things. No I one can. knows who you are. Once every few weeks. My name is. I gave you my name. Yeah, it's uh, it's Sandra. Yeah, sure. Anyhow, thank you so much, Nikki. <laughs> You're welcome. I can see the. She picture. talks about the dog and the yeah. fighting, Amazing. but you yeah. ask her about the sex. Says it doesn't have enough, and then. But this is the problem with with relationships. It it uh, really starts with the the poon tank. It's all about. That's sex. right. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And Thanks, money. Guys. All right, hang in and there. And money. Good luck. No, sex is more important than money. Yeah, big time. Really? I don't oh. like. I don't like the can... victim. I don't like the victim thing she's doing there. I know, eh? Why but, not, Derek? Tell us why. What? Everything is his fault. Apparently, she's perfect. I'm not buying it. I me think. She, I, I think she'd be a big pain in the arse to live with. Hey, you know the second that she yelled at me about the dog thing? Yeah. Because I, I guarantee she didn't do it calmly. She no. didn't go, baby. You know, I've been doing a lot around here. <clears throat> it's not just my job to get the dog in the car. You could help too. If can you give me a hand? I bet I bet you it sounded a little bit. <clears throat> you shut off the music. I think it may have sounded a little bit like this. What is your effing problem? Can't you help me get the goddamn dog in the effing car? Huh? What's your problem? I do so much, you do nothing. Don't forget about the pop can that probably whizzed by his head. <laughs> <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show, one hundred two point one, The Edge. Swing Happy, Happy Friday. Yeah. <laughs> you're listening to the Dean Blundell Show. If you're looking for real theater, you're not getting it. Dean Blundell Show. Not nice. On 102.1 The Edge. Good morning, Nikki. Good, Good morning. morning. Are the cavalcade of crazy guests continues? Uh, <laughs> not, you're not crazy. I mean, just kind of wild and crazy yes, guests. You know, like it's been a crazy morning. I so, am. Did Wolverine no, get not. to your shirt? It looks like. <laughs> what is it? What is it? <laughs> hey, did you guys get Were you shredding papers this morning? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A Wolverine was there. caught in the old shredder? <laughs> um, actually, I don't have don't a shredder. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. good. Uh, let's get to some uh, some predictions and some stuff that came true. Go ahead. Why don't we start there? Okay. Now, the solar flares. Okay. I predicted the solar flares in the U.S. tabloid, The Sun, and Yep. here as well mm-hmm. and heading to earth now this is going to increase in the second half of the year okay and i do see a planet coming out of orbit to orbit 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 <laughs> or orbit, orbit. <laughs> a planet coming out of orbit. orbit and i also predicted that snooki would get pregnant you did i yes. did so and i remember i was saying who who on earth would want to pound on that yeah, yeah. exactly i remember pound on your muffin oh, yeah yeah, yeah so i got that a girl now I have I have a great prediction. Okay, keep okay? going. Okay, now this is a man. Okay, he's going to get killed by a pop tart. Now I know a that's giant a pop tart. <laughs> now, now I know this is weird. I know everybody's going to think that's a crazy prediction. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but he's going to put a pop tart into a toaster. It's going to hit him in the jugular vein. I'm getting it. I thought maybe Juggler. choking on a pop tart. Well, yeah. either yeah. kind of in between. Yeah. 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 So right. I get that, but that's. You know, I don't want people to be scared of that. There's going to be an invasion of woodpeckers in Ontario. Hey, do you, do you, do you know how you can tell if a woodpecker is gay? Uh, no. Where Are it's they got, gay? It's got a brown pecker. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I, I just totally took the penguin joke and made it a woodpecker joke. It's better. It's better. It's the woodpecker joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so too. Yeah, yeah, but there's going to be a big invasion of them. Now, I think yeah. farmers have woodpeckers on their farms right now. Yeah. Yeah. We had this massive one outside my cottage. It was like hell yeah, yeah, because you can't relax on the. You just want to shoot it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I spent like the entire afternoon throwing rocks at it. Yeah, really? Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. And then we had guess what we had for dinner? Woodpecker. You got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> no steak. Well, I used to watch Woody Woodpecker. Right on. <laughs> right. 
Um, there's going to be this huge, massive earthquake in Oregon and the Appalachian Mountains. And I did predict a, a, an earthquake in China last week, and there is one today in China. Oh. Um, a famous porn star will have an affair with a politician. I see that soon. Alice Cooper has to watch his health as H. Stern. Howard Stern yeah. has to watch his health? Yeah. And Alice Cooper. And I see more solar flares hitting Earth. Okay, we... Yeah, yeah, that's for the next 11 yeah, years. Yeah, but it, there's a lot of them. And there's going to be a giant... cycle right now. Okay, there's going to be a giant anteater. You know anteaters? Mm-hmm. They look like woodpeckers. <laughs> Derek, s- Derek knows anteaters. Yeah, yeah. You do? He's got a giant anteater. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> right yeah, he's yeah. not even circumcised. You all go out and warn your ants because I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> you mean female Older ants? Older ants, yeah. <laughs> Yent. Yeah, and it'd be in <laughs> Ontario. Actually, yeah, and Peter's in Ontario, Eastern Ontario. Dude, what if it's just like it's a it's a march? You like, what if you create this massive movement that tells people to not get circumcised, and you guys create this march down Young Street? Yeah, and they call it the Ant Eater March. Ant Eater Twenty Twelve. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get a whole package, would... make a yeah. video, <laughs> but I, a bracelet. You know, it's all about swordfish and ant eaters, like long <clears throat> and and snorts, like you know, snorts, long snouts. Snor- snouts, snouts, rather snorts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry snout. about that one. Yeah, that's right. Long mm-hmm. snouts. Yeah. And it's about, snouts. you know, that's what I get the dream about, you know, like the swordfish, the woodpeckers, the anteaters with those long things. Thank you. Now, Tom Jones has to watch his health. Oh, we're oh we played Tom, Tom Jones this morning. Oh, I, I hope it's... It's uh, not on you. Oh, that's my favorite. Tonight. That's my yeah. favorite. Some old bird song. called and oh, asked for it. Yeah, well, sure. This old bird loves that song. <laughs> Yeah. I love this song. Can you sing along with this one? Yes. Hey, guess what? We just found out Ron McLean's going to join us in a minute. All right. Oh, yeah. Ron. Ronnie, baby. You are to be loved, loved by anyone. anybody. Okay. <laughs> it's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Nice hanging around with anyone. <laughs> it's not unusual to like this, babe. <laughs> I want to cry. Why people get shot at karaoke bars? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I I whatever you do, don't go to Thailand and do that. No. Why? You won't last. Karaoke bar. They, they take it seriously over there. Well, well it's early in the morning. That's why. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they will eat you in a minute. They over would. There. They'll cut you up and put you in a stew. Why is that? Because you're a gypsy. Yeah. Oh, no, you know what? I'm a tough cookie. They wouldn't put me in any stew pot. No. No. You're tough. I'm. Yeah. You can say that again. All right. What else you got? Um, now, okay, so Tom Jones, okay, and I do see animals going into space, like yeah. dogs, yeah, pigs. No, but, what was that no, for? Pigs in animals. space, remember that? From Muppets. Muppets, yeah. old school. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Dude, they were like 40 years ago, they already went. Pigs, pigs <laughs> in space. Do we have that? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> go, go, come on. That's the best thing ever. That's the best <laughs> so sound I've ever heard. Yeah. Hang on. Pigs <laughs> in space. <laughs> I think I got it right here. Okay, do it. Let me hear it. Oh. Pigs in space. <laughs> Is that a dog or a pig? No, it's a pig in when space. We last oh, really? our heroes. Captain Hogthrob was about to speak. <laughs> Link Hop. Oh, I wonder how that announcer is. He fell down in Beth's hospital, you know. <laughs> Actually, I sprained my ankle. <laughs> well, take my advice and get your mommy to kiss it. <laughs> Sketch. Yeah, yeah, good All right, idea. anyways, yeah, pigs are already in space. Yeah, it's also yeah, another pig. Yeah. Anyway, getting to the next prediction. Get your mother to kiss it. <laughs> There's going to be a skunk spraying a politician at City Hall. Is it cool. Fordsy? I don't know. Speaking of put him in a... Put him in a put speaking of pigs in space. <laughs> Fords in space. There's no hamburgers in space, is there? Uh, not maybe, a flo- maybe a floating one. Yeah. Okay, now there's going to be a big fire at the Toronto Stock Exchange. Wow. Oh, yeah. That I'm worried about. Uh-oh. Really? Yeah, I am. Like people going to get hurt? Well, uh, there could be a few bricks tumbling down. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little bit concerned about that. All right. And I see a 3D porno movie, and they it's going to be a hit. 3D. <laughs> listen, listen to this. And now, pigs in space! <laughs> you 
gotta see these pigs are so funny. Are they rolling we around? Last left our heroes. Captain Hogthrob was about to speak. Oh, I wonder how that announcer is. He fell down in Pet's hospital, you know. Actually, I sprained my ankle. Oh, well, take my advice and get your mommy to kiss it. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. That's funny. Pigs are cute. Yep. Some pigs. Not, no. Okay, but there is a 3D porn movie already. Yeah. And it was a big hit. It was? So, yeah, yeah. Well, Remember there's going to be another one. It's a 3D porn movie. I remember. Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah. There's going oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. to be another one. All right. Everything's going to be 3D soon. What else you got? Okay, now a comedy star, a male comedy star is going to become a minister all of a sudden like that. He's going to join the priesthood. Pretty good. Yeah. What's I hope it's Joe saying? Rogan because he's never been funny. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah, he's terrible. I'm getting danger around David Letterman. That's too bad. I Again? like Dave. I, he's like, like my hero. Yeah, he's one of yeah, my heroes. You don't like Jay yeah, Leno? Yeah. No, I think he's a dork. Yeah, it's really? a true story. Yeah. It's a true story. Yeah. 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 My chin's like a little second yeah. lower than my balls. It's yeah. a true story. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, my chin are my balls. True story. <laughs> I talked to him one time on the phone. Yeah, it's a true story. I could care less. Yeah. It's a true story. <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show. The Dean Blundell Show. On 102.1 The Edge. Ron McLean's on the phone. What's up, bud? Oh, nothing. Quiet, Dean. I got to wake up from Todd. I watched the uh, Jets in uh, Vancouver till 1 a.m., and then I, I had to go and read Steve Simmons because it sounded interesting. <laughs> yeah, cause, yeah, yeah. yeah, because uh, Steve, Steve has you fired already, bud. Yeah. Well, you know, there was a. It, it all gets really interesting when things like this. I, I was lucky enough to get the surge in volume of uh, the media on my side in 2002 when we were doing the contract. But there was a thing last Thursday in the Globe that caught my eye about the Huffington Post. And it was a story on HuffPost in Canada. And there was a little point in there about the Globe and Mail, how the management recently installed digital scoreboards in the newsroom that offer live updates on which of their stories are playing best on the website. Um. So that, And, you know, that's... Honestly, I, I think that half the trouble you find yourself in is that everybody wants uh, the names of the stories that have that you know those legs, and that's I, this has been kind of goofy all week long. Yeah, I don't know, know. I don't know the background well enough about what happened to the board of governors. That's the one thing that sort of got my attention. I, I have a question uh, in regards to how first of all how this whole thing started because I know Don and and Brian you know and then Brian called your bosses like you you show up with uh you know if your if your kid punches some kid in the face you, you go over and you start yelling at uh, some parents and it's just it, it, the whole thing was very childish to me and I appreciate it not just what Don said but your perspective on uh, what it is that seems to be happening with you two because I I don't get it it's with it's never been any no no with well yeah but oh no well you know there has been look at there there's nothing wrong in those stories that you know CBC would love nothing more than uh, uh, me or Don not to constantly be sort of niggling at uh, Gary or the NHL Shield. You know, the, the tough part for Jeff Orridge, who's the guy that's got to negotiate the new deal, is the, the whole uh, way of doing business, uh, particularly with the U.S. pro sport model, is they call it polishing the shield. And they want the messaging controlled down to the very end. So it's, okay. it's kind of funny. They take your money, but they also uh, want to be able to... In, in the case of NBC in the States with, with the NHL, it's the NHL who has to sort of bend, but it's in our case, it's us that they want to try and really uh, just polish the brand at, at you know nauseum, and that, there's nothing sort of wrong with that. And that's their job to kind of stick up for what they want to get out there. But we, I keep trying to argue, have a have a duty to kind of do what we think is right for. Uh, you know, both. You know, I don't want to sound like it's, but but it is journalism. It is kind of looking out for the game. It is all that stuff. It can't be censored. Have. No, no. It, it, but it's not. But yeah. this is the problem that I have, Ron. And we recently ran into some issues you may have heard of. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like me, it's, it's yeah. an ongoing roller coaster, right? Yeah, but it, you know what? It's it, what 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 bothers me about the whole thing is is somehow now we all understand what Don Don is what Don is, and 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 he is a revered human being as you are as well. You're revered for your your ability to keep it on track. And, and, and holding people like Gary Bettman accountable. Uh, Don's revered because he's just so wacky, man. <laughs> but, um, you know, the, the, the problem that I have is, is that th- this whole thing, what's become of you and Don and Brian and the NHL, is, is, is to me it's like a bunch of grown men taking their toys, hiding in the corner and saying, we can't, don't let anybody see this stuff, we can't. And it, it, it's, it's childish. Well, what are they so afraid of, too? And, uh, you know, I, I don't think Don hid behind. I, I will admit, you know, when they have the mudslinging both, uh, both ways. No, know. them, though. It's them. It's not you two. Yeah, right. 
<laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Rock, can I ask you a question regarding back to the Steve Simmons article, which basically said the NHL is a little bit worried what you said and that you're trying to either, uh, you know, the, curb what you're saying or, or get you fired. Now, is there not some hypocrisy in that? Because Steve Simmons is a guy who writes and he's pretty controversial in himself. Now, do you think he's actually... Like, is it fabricating a little bit about this? No, and I, I do. I think, yeah. like I say, I think that, you know, if you, if you, it's clearly leaking out somehow, some way that uh, the CBC is concerned about us. And I can tell you, I wrote about it in that book, Cornered. Uh, it's always been a kind of a song and dance, you know, uh, don't be so difficult for Gary Bettman because, you know, now he won't come on or now you won't get the, uh, you know, the interview. So there, there is some merit to the, to this idea that they're always trying to control the message. And we are, you know, uh, trying to stand apart from that and uh, do what's right for for the show. We need we cannot allow our show to be vanilla. We can't allow mm-hmm. it to be you know at the mercy of Gary. He can control a lot of things. But as I keep saying to Jeffrey, I, well, I'm not handing over my life or my experience to Gary. You know, I'm going to do I'm going to do. I'll be fair. I'll be reasonable. You know, hopefully when when you ask the questions, the hard questions, there it's for left for the uh, listener or the viewer to judge. But yeah. that's the only thing. You know, you have got to be fair about that. You can't just be making speeches and uh, you know try to have them swallow it whole. Does it, <laughs> uh, Ron McLean, our guest? So there, there. Like, have you talked to Gary and has CBC talked to you and said, "Hey, listen, we're getting phone calls from these guys, and uh, this might happen." Not recently, no. Uh, but I think it's like I say, been but for as long as I can remember, there's been sort of that undercurrent of. Uh, you know, again, there's got to be reasonable uh, uh, sort of effort on my part, but they want that collaboration. They want that. They're always feeling like it's about a part magic word you get trotted out. And honestly, you know, Dean and Todd, that goes back as long as time began. This sort of mythic idea of relationships, it's all about business, right? Yeah. It's, it sounds good in theory, but everybody's sort of chasing the almighty. And that's what's really, you know, with what's trending nowadays is, uh, you know, where are we generating the buzz? And, and luckily, I think, luckily for us, you know, there's not much doubt about the the ability of Don or us to sort of maintain some relevance, even if you disagree. And you know the drill. Uh, you know you have to you have to be provocative. That's our that's our job to hit the. And, and you're still remaining your journalistic integrity because well, it, 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 no it's just your someone's never, opinion. I would, I would never. You know, I, I really was uh, sort of chagrined to see that there's a scoreboard. You know, how are the stories trending? Oh. That, Where that's is this? Where is the scoreboard? Globe and Mail. Globe yeah. and Mail. Yeah, it's on page. Uh, let's see, page uh, R four of the Thursday, March first, Globe and Mail. R four page. Uh, and they had a thing in the newsroom about the stories that are trending, and this is it's so they're trying to get people story. to. It says, uh, you know, journalists in every newsroom oh, in the crap. country now spend at least a part of their day trying to balance the corporate <laughs> imperative to increase site traffic with their desire to do a story on its own merits. <laughs> and that's where we're at, you know. And and we don't. I, I will say, you know, yeah. CBC's never come to me and say, Ron, you got to get with it, start tweeting. But but at least, <laughs> you know, the the uh, there that pressure is for all huh. journalists nowadays. It's just really interesting and that's where i think these stories you know now that that story has legs you know everybody's yeah. got to chime in rosie demano has got to write yeah. joe warmington has got to write bruce dobigan has got to write and on and on it goes you know if i could if i could just implore everybody and ron mcclain our guest said I, I, I want i appreciate your time if i could implore everybody who's canadian who appreciates free speech and not censorship and sometimes thinks that just because organizations have all the dough that they're always right sometimes they're not sometimes people in those positions are not right and in this situation muzzling someone who has done nothing but a good job two guys two guys that the do nothing but a good job, job. And, and 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 not just not just for us but for canadians as well um is is it, it makes me sick and and people like simmons and and, and people that, that 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 arrive at conclusions on conjecture uh ought to shampoo my crotch but anyway i i apologize <laughs> Uh, on behalf of uh, anyone in media, sir. And I was going to say, the four of us should get together and go for beers and talk about the good old days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, throw on a, a nine-inch nails, bite the hand. Uh, that's that's sort of my uh, back. Whenever I get blue or uh, depressed about it all, I yeah. just throw on nine-inch nails, bite the hands. And uh, I was thinking, if I lose the battle of the long knives, I'll always have battle of the blades. May, well, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, Ron, I really appreciate your time. And, uh, and, and, and keep us posted and fight the good fight. And uh, we're behind you yeah ditto goes two ways there you guys say pal you take care all the best that's a nice man oh that was awesome hey i got you i'm I'm charter of what yeah (laughs) bull crap yeah yeah a-holes it's a charter of a-holes is what it is
and watching this happen. And you know what? It is. It's crazy. It happens to us. It's happening to us. It's happening to them. And it happens all. And and, and I'm tired of people not standing up for what's right and doing what's right. And it has pissed me off long enough. And then you get a guy like that who has done nothing but good work on behalf of people. He's a family man. He loves his wife. Uh, He's an institution. He's charitable. He, He agrees to do this stuff because he believes. And what we have is an organization that not only doesn't believe, but well, simply scared. out of trying to control things yeah. and, 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 and guys with lawyers and people. And I am I, personally speaking fed up because it's happened for years and it's time people pay attention and start fighting for what's right. Sometimes we're not right, but sometimes we are. But at least when you speak the truth, you're always right if it's an opinion and it's the truth. It's not like you're not going and, you know, mentioning stupid like when you're going a little bit overboard in terms yeah, of racist you know. statements, and all that stuff. But yeah. I mean, if you just speak the truth and call people on the hard hitting questions. Yeah. Sorry. You should Nick, be able to answer Nick, those questions. Nikki, by the way, sorry. Yeah. Nikki's putting her hand up like, it's my, turn. it's my turn. It's no, my turn. No, I wanted to talk to Ron McLean. Well, no, he's gone. Oh, I give him a prediction. Oh, he's fine. You Is he going to be working there? You know what? Him and Don Sherry are going to have their own show. Are they? Yeah, own show. Don Sherry and Ron McLean are right. going to have their own show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am Don Sherry. <laughs> you know what? The problem is Canada is very, very conservative. Okay, too conservative. The American. No, you know no, what? I, it's not. It's not a, it, no, yeah. it's not Canada. This is. No. This is. It's this is people that 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 grab the law and squeeze everything out of it that they can to inconvenience everybody else. It's it's really yeah. a law thing because I bet you behind this stuff there's a bunch of lawyers. And if you ask me what I'd like to do with lawyers at the moment, <laughs> it would it wouldn't sound nice. Because that's where this comes but, from. Uh, lawyers are protecting the board of directors. They're protecting yeah. companies. They're protecting no stocks. Ste- they're pro- Dude, that's what they're doing. No one steps out anymore and says, yeah. hold it. Let's take a chance. Let them do their thing. Why don't we encourage your employees? Because here's every time, and, 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 and it happens everywhere. It's not at the CBC, and it's not just at other places. Every time you don't stand behind the people you've asked to do a job for you, Every time. That's just one more nail in the coffin for that company, and I believe that. And, and you know what? I am, I am, if, if, if these two guys lose their jobs over some dickhead at the NHL that says, oh, we can't, uh, it, 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 we don't like what they're saying. They're technically not saying anything wrong, but it, it makes Gary get all, Gary gets all sweaty. And you can't have a sweaty Gary in an interview. We don't like that they're being direct and trying to get honest answers. I just love how oh. NBC bullies the NHL, and then once NBC leaves the room, the N- NHL just starts punching CBC. <laughs> yeah. on the show. We got it. We got <laughs> it. That's because that's. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because that's because that's their bread and butter. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's the same thing here and at every other company. Wh- whatever, whatever is your bread and butter, you protect like crazy, even if it means doing the wrong thing by people sometimes. Mm-hmm. And that's what they're doing. And no one's standing up for him. Nobody. Yeah. And I, and I think Ron would say something that we would say, that it's a privilege to do this job and it's a privilege to have a voice. But at some point, don't be so afraid of that voice. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I almost said the F word. Awesome. I, 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 I said the F word. I had to take it out. I said, no, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of the voice yeah. that helped you made, that made that, whether it's a station or a company or, or a show, be, be successful. Dude, if you're, if you're driving down the DVP yeah. in your Maybach right now and you're getting ready to go to, a, a, to work, uh, remember one thing today. When you go in there... How you treat employees is the reward you get from them. Mm -hmm. That's what you get back. So if you encourage and stand up for and stick up for, you know, the most I've ever been, this is a true story. The most I've ever been stood up for in in my entire working life was when I was 14. I gave some guy at McDonald's wrong change. My boss stood in front of me and and took one right in the mouth from this drunk. It was great. (laughs) But that was incredible. And, and, and you, you think about the difference it makes in your own life when someone, your employer, actually sticks up for you and says, and then you watch guys like this, this, uh, this Steve Simmons guy, hmm, you're going to read this story. Guys at Globe Mail, hmm, well, that's hypocrisy. They get away right? with it all. Yeah. yeah. Because they only have themselves to sell, and that's what sells, is, yeah. is, is the controversy that they create. It doesn't sell. Newspapers yeah. are dead. What well, I go on the, the internet. Yeah. Yeah. I get all my news from radar online now. I, I look at the fashion I even, section. I don't even spank it to the sunshine girl anymore <laughs> at the newspaper. <laughs> you don't? No. no. I get 16 <laughs> pictures online. <laughs> and usually by the third one, I'm puking. <laughs> <laughs> She's holding the car. <laughs> <laughs> well, for whatever reason, but there's a car in the sunshine what? girl picture. You ran out of ideas? <laughs> God. 
just get so pissed off. T.O. is conservative, sir. No, it's, no, it's not about that. It is. We it's, follow no, the United no, it's States. It's about, no, it's about the pussification of the world, and this is what happened again. It's about people being afraid. And I'm not talking about being a dick and being a bully. I'm talking about being afraid to make the right decision by people. Just be, be fair. Be right. Do what's right. These guys, I, I, it just is that small portion of the population that controls the freedom of speech and controls the, the ability to make bad decisions because, well, we need to set a precedent. We've got to send a message. And I'll tell you this. Nobody works well with threats. Nobody. You want to threaten Don? Don has no time for no. you. Neither does Ron. And if you think Ron and Don aren't going to get a... Remember when they stole the uh, Hockey Night in Canada theme, TSN? Yeah. Because they didn't want to pay for it. Yeah. Pay, so now, Hockey Night in Canada on TSN? Or uh, the, the Hockey the new, Night in Canada song? The new theme's pretty good, too, actually. Which one? <laughs> the, the new, new theme? theme on the uh, okay. <laughs> But, you know, I know, but Ron makes the point. It's that, you know, you're also told to be provocative, and that's the problem. Is that, is that where's the and, line? You know, and, and I'll, I'll and speak from, yeah. from experience, as you can, too. When you're asked to go right to the end of the line... When you're asked to get ratings, you're asked to be provocative, you're asked to do this job, and then something happens that ruffles feathers, and then everybody that's asked you to do that job turns around and says, what are you doing? For shame. That's what is wrong. That is wrong, because these are just people protecting their own jobs. I feel bad for those two guys. Oh, they're legends. They'll always yeah. be legends. I love them. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Are I you still? I didn't know you were still oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. CBC. I love Ron McLean and right. Don oh, Cherry. I'm sure, that matters. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, they, their jobs are safe now. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> the Dean Blundell Show, 102.1 The Edge. The Dean Blundell Show, weekday mornings on the Edge. To the beat, y'all. I'm licking my lips, my fingers is sticky. Who's in the house? It's psychic, nitty. Come on, come on, come on. Me, your life is full of sorrow. Y'all listen up, this chick sees tomorrow. Oh, get back. It's like that. Get, 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 get back. Oh. It's Psychic Nikki hey. on the Dean Blondell Show. Come on. It's Psychic Nikki on the Dean Blondell Show. It's the queen, y'all. It's Psychic Nikki. Do that thing. Then, yeah. Well, I know, Dean. I'm not going to win a Grammy anymore. Anyway. <sighs> What's with that hat? Do you st steal it off what a scarecrow? What <laughs> Does it look like she stole it off a scarecrow? Yeah. <laughs> hey, where are the Tin Man and the Lion guy? Uh, actually, I saw them <laughs> last <laughs> night. <laughs> tin Man was a little rusty, though. Yeah, I, I bet Whoa. after he was... The scare yeah. Scarecrow so, was better. All right. Yeah. So can we, uh, can we get to it? You had a big week. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Why don't you go ahead and start bragging? Well, I thought you would do that, guys. I'm sure. You yeah. remind us every time you're here. Um, Mexico? Yeah, Mexican earthquake. Now, I did predict Mexican that. Mexican earthquake. <laughs> yeah. Really Can you bad. get a Mexican earthquake up here? Uh, you, you probably could. Oh, I'm going to give my girl the Mexican earthquake. Oh. Yes. Uh, you know what that is, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. You get a hell of a lot of quesadillas and you go to town. <laughs> Taco Bell. 7.4. It was actually 7.9 in some spots. All right. They moved but anyway, me. I did predict that in the U.S. tabloid here. Mm. It, 2000 in January issue. I predicted it on the show here. Yeah, we remember. We're Dude, right. we, we as soon as it happened, I got an, I'm got. i going to read you an email I got from a guy in Mexico City. Yeah. He said it was 7-9, fires everywhere, buildings on fire. It did uh, tons of buildings collapse, so, which is good, but it did uh, at least early estimates, at least 50 cents in damage. But, you know, uh, Dean, this see, I, I predicted <laughs> August and September on Twitter as well. But yeah. anyway, but Dean. But can you believe that damage? I, That's a lot. That's like, a lot of damage. I know, but just a minute. 50 that, some say, some that, say 75 cents. That is only the beginning, okay? I oh, there's you, a big one. Oh. A huge, huge dollar. one in Mexico. This huge. dork on CNN yesterday was explaining how the percentages work mm. with uh, how many people dead, uh, economic in impact and stuff like that. And he, he was all like, okay, so we've been getting some of these huge ones like Haiti and Japan and Mexico, and they're all connected, so there's a bunch of big ones coming, so suck it, world. That's what it basically said. Well, that's he's right. Is he? Suck it, world. Yeah, because there's a lot coming. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I world. mean, you know. Do you I'm think stuff will happen here like uh, in the, because of the crazy weather and stuff? And maybe I, not earthquakes, but like in terms of tornadoes or anything? Do you know who's anything? doing this to us? Space. Mother nature. People in space. 
Oh, space people. There's, there's, there's a whole Here bunch of. Go. I'm telling you, 2012. <laughs> yeah. All right. No, just giant look. grasshoppers in outer space. <laughs> no, now listen. Landing. D- Dean. Yep. Honestly, I'm here. there there is going to be a huge one in also my the pants. Pacific. <laughs> well, it probably is. Uh, Pacific Northwest. Hey, she's a psychic. Eh? She Pacific got Northwest. She just told everybody I had a huge member. Yeah, and yeah. She's a psychic, and it is. You know, obviously know that because you know. I know. I can see through. Like I have this. What's around the Pacific Northwest? Uh, foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Big that is humorous. You yeah, know, go ahead. huge things happening. I told you this is only the beginning uh-huh. of the year. Okay. Uh, and the it? second half, second half is when a lot of stuff will happen. Now, I do feel there's going to be another huge earthquake. Mexico City destroying a lot of the city. Oh, no. Uh, the Pacific Northwest, Oregon. You just said that. Yeah, Mount St. Helens, what Alaska. What about the Pacific Northwest? <laughs> well, the foreskin of America. <laughs> right. The foreskin of America. But is gonna... British Columbia considered that? Is that? Yeah, Vancouver, yeah, yeah. BC, all okay. of that Alaska. area. And yeah, so a lot of that's going to happen. Yeah. And you, what was the other thing you said? I predicted the gorilla. Oh, the gorilla coming out of the zoo. Well, right. You didn't react. You said it's Berlin, pretty, and it was good, buffalo. It's pretty good. But it was well, bee. Yeah, 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 the bee's yeah. close. <laughs> but how often do you hear a gorilla escaping? Like, it's a, yeah. you got to give her some sort of credit. <laughs> but you know what? I said there would be a tragedy near London or Fanshawe College too. That yeah, was you back did. In the summer. And we started making yeah. fun of radio students there. And yeah. then this oh, guy emailed me. His name's Mark. What a dork! He's like, my daughter goes there. You're oh, you're a huge loser. F you, a hole. She'll never get. It. She'll never want to be like. She's he, the guy called me. His daughter's in school. Yeah. He emailed me. He's like, my daughter will never be an effed up radio guy like you. I'm like, dude, have you any clue? <laughs> and I responded to him and I said, no kidding. Because if I find out who she is, she'll never get a job in radio because of her overbearing dad. Wow. <laughs> Pull Eric Lindros uh, and ask him how his life went after Bonnie got involved. <laughs> now, now, there's going to be more riots in yeah. schools. Absolutely. Coming really? up. Really? Yeah. Coming up. Hmm. And also, these people have been Twittering me this morning. Tweeting. and they s- Or tweeting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Twittering, tweeting is a bird, right? Mm. Um They've been saying that hundreds and thousands of fish have been, you know, washed up on shore huh. on the near Peru and all over the world and dolphins as well. Dead dolphins. <laughs> and I had said that. Oh, here. no. Yeah. Dead dolphins here in uh, Ontario? Not in Ontario. Oh, no. you said here. Oh, OK. Well, maybe one dead dolphin. That'd be weird. That would um, be weird. Now, there's going to be a huge earthquake in Sicily and Rome, too. Oh. In Italy. Like, we're only in the beginning of the end. Okay? Well, we're the only end. in the beginning of the oh, end. Yeah. It's not going to be the end of what? Phil. It's not going to be the end of the world, okay? But you the, think you really believe in this off-the-access stuff and everything's just out of whack right now? Really. Absolutely. Do you know what absolutely. I think? Absolutely. Yeah, this is what I think. Yeah. Take it for what it's worth, kids. <clears throat> you can listen to me or not, but this is just my opinion. Oh, not? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. I don't care if you listen to me, dude. Um, this is what I think, and correct me if I'm wrong. Common sense would dictate it's like shedding of the skin. Right. So the earth is going through some extra growing pains. It's a new cycle for the earth. Boom, some of this stuff's going to happen. We're going to lose certain parts of the world. Exactly. But oh. generally speaking, things are going to be fine. There's just going to be some pretty intense events going on. And and, and so anyway, after the earth settles down and, and stops having her period... Uh, then, then uh, things will go back to normal. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <clears throat> yeah, you know, and we're going to be fine here for we're, the most we're, part. We're going to be all right, but we could okay. get effects from you know the United States and other parts of the world. So, what's yeah. this thing with? The, they, I heard too that New York City is like on some kind of uh, thing, and they, they they could get a big one too. Oh, they're going to have a huge one, and we're going to be affected by that. Like we're going to have a bunch of New York City New, New Yorkians coming up here to live. <laughs> Well, yeah, you will do that, but we're going to oh be affected by goodness, New York. Are people going to try and sell us a diamond? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, oh. And by the way, oh, you know what? We could actually use them. Yeah. Really? Because if you've taken a cab in New York, every single one of them speaks the language. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, really? okay. I know where you're going. Now, another thing that's going to happen, I, you won't believe this, but if you put <laughs> your TV, like you'll be watching a baseball game or a golf game or something like that, be watching your TV, and all of a sudden, 
mm-hmm. it goes blank a little mm-hmm. bit, and this alien comes on your what? TV. I'm telling you. And he I starts see talking that. to us? Yeah. People of Earth. I am taking over your TV. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing good on. Yeah, it's true. Well, that's true. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm telling you. This, this is going to happen. This is way future. better than anything on the CBC. <laughs> I saved you from the ending of Desperate Housewives <laughs> and Flashpoint. <laughs> <laughs> we are coming to the end of the world soon. We even know Canadian it's TV sucks. <laughs> it welcome. was this or Anne of Green Gables again. Hey, Alien 2, give me three balls. I'll juggle. More entertaining. <laughs> Aren't you good? Aren't you good? Hey, who wants to see an alien blue flame? <laughs> now that's entertainment. Uh, I thought it was a green flame. <laughs> <laughs> no, that comes out of the front. Okay. <laughs> Maybe the alien oh. will win a Gemini Award or Genie or whatever. No, honestly, I do see. <laughs> I honestly see this happening. Like, we're going to have something. Do you remember the movie Contact? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I see something like that, communication-wise, and some alien totally face on, coming on. It. Jody Foster. Me. Oh, good. Yeah. Anyway, I don't She's an scare. alien? I thought so. I yeah. Okay. She was. yeah. <laughs> you seen her? So when are the aliens coming? Soon. Yeah? Soon. Like, I see this big explosion in the Better sky. Better get a wet wipe. A wet wipe? Why? <laughs> Oh, I see. Now, <laughs> now Gene, I know you're not. <laughs> what? Now you got it. Aliens have sex, too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, just a minute. How happy would you on, be? On it. <laughs> You got a whole other race. <laughs> Thanks. No so you're saying you, you might have some options. Oh yeah. Hang on, let me, sh- let me shake out this air filter. <laughs> now, guys, I I'm going ma- to kick the dust out of that thing. <laughs> guys, I know you're making fun of the aliens, no, but honestly, not. there is a big explosion. In- <laughs> it's not at all. It's oh, funny you actually <laughs> making fun of it. There's a big explosion in space coming. I'm telling you, I can feel no it No kidding, because you're going to go up there and bag some aliens. And like, you know what? There's going to be a meteorite that hits our satellites in, in space, too. It's like Transformers. Uh, yeah, like that. And coming down, too, there's going to be a meteorite very cl- Now, they said that a meteorite may stop laughing. come close to Earth in 2013. I see it before that. And I also see a gay, a gay president in the future. A gesident? Gay president. Okay. Yeah, which is good. And I, a presosexual. And I also at the brown house. <laughs> <laughs> at the what? <laughs> no, it's the even whiter house. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> And I also see... Check out the Oval Office. (laughs) (laughs) Why is there a big hole in the middle now? The Dean Blundell Show. I have some bad things to say about those people. Freaking, I heard it. Flying through my freaking damn wall. The Dean Blundell Show. Boom, man. 102.1. Freaking, I... I knew it. The edge. Hang on, we got a guest. Got on a guest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Guess. She's a porn star. You love porn stars. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Carly Montana. Exactly. How, are, how are you, ma'am? I'm good. How are you guys? Good. Listen, where, where are you calling us from this morning? Um, Los Angeles, California. Now, take us through uh, real quick. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, you're going to do. You're going to act with a very good friend of ours uh, shortly. And it, this, mm-hmm. this, as, as I understand it, this will be the first uh, adult film you do. Uh, that's straight. You've done mostly le- women. Is that correct? Yes. That All is women. Correct. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Eight years of the V. Yeah. Eight years of the V. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs> sounds like a t-shirt. And, and, and are you straight or are you are you not straight? I'm bi. You're bi, yeah. but you, so you. I'm bi. So any relation, any any male sex, you obviously saved for the person you were with at the time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so the past eight years, I've been kind of, you know, monogamous with the, I guess, the P. Yep. But, well, actually, they're both P. Yeah, they are both P's. Yeah. Both- yeah, so the V. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> She's good. good. Deep thought there. But now you, you've done eight years. How old are you, by the way? I'm 25. I'll be 26 in May. So she started right when you're allowed to start. Like right at 18. Right yeah. when I could. Yeah. yeah I was ready. And, and you... <laughs> 
I love talking to these people. I know. Four so, stars are so yeah. open. Uh, I know. You get it? Yeah, I get it. They're open, all right. <laughs> so, uh, Carly Montana, I guess. Now, now you're about to do your very first uh, boy-girl scene, but you're doing it with our friend Voodoo, the porn star, correct? Yes. Now, yeah, on what, Saturday. On Saturday you're doing it? I know. Yeah. Is, is it just you? Are you excited? Of course it's just me. Was it my, I'm not going to wake up and just do an orgy. I mean, yeah. Just, yeah. I mean, just me and him and uh, Brazzers. Why have you done only that? Um, you know what? When I first got in the business, I was really young. So I've kind of had most of my adult life in the business. And my sexuality has grown. And I'm older now. And Why did you only do for, chicks at first? You know, um, I actually did solo first. I did the whole, oh, yeah. you know, mm. loving myself for a while. And then it, it just kind of progressed, you know? Mm -hmm. so, Soon you'll be on to uh, old people. Old people <laughs> or horses with <laughs> a garbage bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just ready for, I'm ready for the men love, you know? What? So what do you charge, like for a scene like that, what, how much money would you earn? Or, or, or even when you're just with another hot lady, because I'd like to picture that too. Um, well, with girls, I normally get like 800 to a grand a scene, depending if there's dialogue or... <laughs> if there's dialogue? Like Do they pay you less? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they pay you more for... Of course, they're what? taking my time. Hey, have you... What, yeah. What's the What's the funniest thing you've ever said in a, in a, in a, in a porn? Uh, Car Carly Montana, our guest, she's going to do her straight porn. Uh, first uh, guy, girl porn with voodoo on the weekend. And so she's talking about it. Um, but what, like, of all the dialogue you've had, what's what's the most, like, where you've said it and gone, come on, are you who wrote this? Um, I can't remember. I mean, I've done some weird stuff. Like, I wrote, a, like, a human-sized pinata and then had the scene with the girl, which is kind of strange. You wrote is there, the, is there candy in it? Were they what was were yeah. they breaking it for candy? No, there was absolutely no use for it. It was for <laughs> bluebird films and there was this huge like horse like shape, you know, like the old school pinatas that I was physically able to ride and hop around and we hopped towards each other and then started making out and did the scene. <laughs> <laughs> what an intro. That's a, yeah. that's a niche market right there. <laughs> Perfect take, Carly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Way to ride that that, uh, that pinata. Yeah, that, that, hey, that's my party motivation. Toy. Yeah. Are you? Are you? When was the last time you had sex with a man? Oh, um, a few days ago. Okay. Hmm. Did, did you know him? No, like a week ago. Like a week ago. Oh, that's a long time. Do, do you know him? I know. <laughs> you know him. I do him. Oh, it's Voodoo. Oh, you've been doing it with him. He. Why not? It's practice. It's dress rehearsal. Yeah, or practice. Dress rehearsal. How is it? It's Olympic sex. How is it? Fantastic. Is it weird? Mind blowing. Is it really that not good? Not at all. <laughs> it is literally that good. And, and He's messing it up for every other man on the planet. Well, see, this oh, is what I hear about our friend Voodoo. Maybe this is why Voodoo wanted us to get in touch with you, just so you could brag about him <laughs> some more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, okay, so listen, can we talk to both of you guys on Monday after you film it? Sure. Is that cool with you? Yeah. And what's your website? What are you on Twitter and do you have Facebook or anything? Um, I don't really do Facebook. Good. You have to like mm. sit there and approve all that. That's yeah, it's dumb. Bad. Yeah. Um, I do Twitter and uh, it's at K-A-R-L-I-E Montana, like the state. That's my name. Yep. Okay. And uh, my dot com will just route you to my blog, which is connected to my Twitter. So oh. My oh. oh, things that are connected uh, to yeah. Twitter. Yeah. Ooh, love it. <laughs> <laughs> like voodoo. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a hard time getting that thing out of her Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, listen, uh, Carl, you're, you're a lovely lady, and you sound like you're, you're actually quite bright, so uh, I can't wait to talk to you on Monday, and, and good luck, and hope you don't uh, tear. <laughs> I won't care. I promise. Okay. I can take it like a champ. Well, I can take it like a champ. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Carly. <laughs> An important message. The Dean Blundell Show. Weekday mornings on the edge. I was just talking to uh, Psychic Nikki because she said there's changes. And I said to her, <clears throat> uh, the change is coming. And she's world, 100 yeah. Well, no, for us, too. You said it's, you're 100% right all the time. And she has been uh, the entire time we had her on the show. So I was uh, I said, she said, you know, whatever happens, I, I'm your girl. And I said, you bet. I'll even take you up north with me so that we can weather the apocalypse of the end of the world together. And you can tell me what to do. That's right. <clears throat> That's right. I can't believe she predicted my sex change. I know. <laughs>
I did. <laughs> changes. I had changes. But you know what? He's got There's, approved. Even he here. He did. No, He's going to get a wiener finally. Really? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of wiener? Man wiener. Oh, I thought it was Schneider's. Okay. Um, you know, there's going to be like a, there's going to be a, a, these strange fish in Ontario oh, right, too, okay. in the lakes. We got to take calls. We sure. can't talk fish anymore. Well, it's in Muskoka. All right. Hi, The Edge. Really? What's going on? I just want to talk about uh, the planets that are starting to light up. If uh, Psychic Mickey knows anything about that. Okay. Okay. What did you want to know, Daryl? <laughs> Specifically? I that out, out in the West there, there's uh It's Jupiter and Venus. Of, it's Jupiter or Venus, but they're starting to light Both up. them. At a certain uh, time, like 11 o'clock. Yeah, well, that's good because Jupiter... Okay, Jupiter... They're so close. Is that what he's saying? Yeah, they're yeah. really bright in the sky. They're every, yeah, they're crazy yeah. bright lately. Yeah, they are. And that's got something to do with 2012. But Jupiter, actually, there was a giant trine in Taurus because Jupiter and, and um, Venus were together. And it's very good time for certain signs. Does this guy know why they're so bright? Well, they're bright because... No, I'm asking him. Oh. Dude. Well, I... I don't know. I think uh, there's uh, something, something's coming. Yeah, oh, and wow. he's right. Something Have you noticed how coming. bright the planets are? Uh... Yeah, I'd, every night I stargaze. No. <laughs> no, it's pretty crazy. They're, they're like super duper like... Well, I'm excited to go up north this summer to have yeah. a look at them. Yeah, yeah like I... Even... You know, you, you only got to worry, dude, when uh, something lines up with Uranus. Then you got problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a big problem. Yeah, no but there's a lot of... Pro- See, this is what, what is it? What's the deal? What's the deal with the aligning of the planets? What does that mean? Even though they're bright and you can see them now, what does it mean? Well, it means that things... There's something happening in space up there, okay? And I told you this before. <laughs> all the, the way they rotate around the sun. <laughs> yeah, like this all changes with a solar yeah. flare. Sorry. Making I asked the planets. wrong person. Derek, what's the deal with the alignment of planets? It's just Earth, their perspective from Earth, you see. Mm-hmm. And once in a while, they'll look like they're getting really close to each other because they're sort of in the same orbital path, but they're not. They're nowhere near each other. Like Jupiter is way bigger than Venus. Yeah, way bigger than Venus. Yeah, but and I see, not quite as big as Uranus, Nikki. Right now, yeah. Uranus. Now I see one planet coming out of orbit too, affecting our weather on Earth. Hey, what's too? that planet this year? They just said, "Yeah, you're not a planet anymore." Pluto. Pluto. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. 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 You're just exactly. a, you're nothing but a moon, you yeah. prick. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But you know, there's a big change. Like now, Jupiter's going into Gemini in June, and then in in October, Saturn's coming out of Libra and going into Scorpio. Lucky for Scorpio. So there's a lot of change. There's a lot of changes coming up for <laughs> each individual out. sign. Yeah. So yeah, okay. Yeah. At the edge. Hey, how you doing, Dean? Good. Who's this? Hey, Sean. My name is Christian. Hey, Christian. How are you, sir? I'm good, man. Good. What's this up? Is hilarious. Hey, hey uh, I just had a question for Psychic Mickey. Mm-hmm. Yes, Christian. Hi, Nikki. How you doing? I'm great. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. I'm a Pisces. Oh, good. A fish. Okay. And, uh, a fish, yes. <laughs> Love fish. And uh, I've been having a, a couple of dreams lately that are extremely weird. Oh, good. Tell me. Um, I've been dreaming about uh, gold coins um, and the blood in my veins. Will show up on my arm uh, in the in the image of a of a uh, uh, what do you call those uh, those you know those Mayan drawings woodpecker <laughs> no a Mayan drawing okay uh, of a of a you know the the one that the, there's a famous one where there's a Mayan supposedly in a rocket ship or something like that and it appears on my arm oh my goodness dude get out of here you're the cause for all this no, 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 no. <laughs> you have your oh this is in a dream. It's all in a oh. dream. I like I'm approaching. I'm approaching for some reason. I'm in a, uh, you know, in this uh, huge lineup of people. They're just like kind these of ancient escorted. cave paintings. Is that what you're talking about? It's like a yeah. It's like a painting, but it's it's the blood that appears on my arm. In, in how much do you drink? No, I don't drink at all. I'm not a. Do, how much do you smoke? Do you smoke dope? No, nothing. Nothing. You're clean. You're straight edge. Yeah. Good for you. You got to start doing it. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now the gold coins. Yeah. That that means money's ah. coming. Okay, the yeah. gold coins. Yes. And treasure. But the blood in your the blood in the veins, okay, that is a warning of certain things happening in the Earth's atmosphere. Earth. And the Mayans. <laughs> and the Mayans? Yeah, in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> No, uh, I know what I'm a, talking about. Uh, oh, I, I'm not look. I'm I know. Not a I, I I listened to what you just said, and I thought of that. I thought to that guy. Yeah. So there, there you go. Now listen, Dean. I'm not a rocket scientist. Okay. No. But, surgeon. Rocket surgeon. But I probably know more than NASA scientist. and the presidents and everything. You what? Probably. I know she knows more than, more than, than the Dean Blundell Show. Mornings. It's so crazy. On the edge. To the beat, yo. I'm licking my lips. My fingers is sticky. Who's in the house? It's psychic Nikki. Yeah. Come on. Uh, oh. Me, your life is full of sorrow. Y'all listen up, this chick sees tomorrow. Oh, get mad. It's like that. Get, 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 get mad. It's Psychic Nikki hey. on the Dean Blundell Show. Come on. It's Psychic Nikki on the Dean
Gene Blundell Show. It's the queen, y'all. It's Psychic Nikki. Do that thing. This is... What are you saying? What, are you right. what did you say? I said Dr. D. You've been calling Why? me Dr. D. Why is she calling yeah. you Dr. D? I, I don't know. Dr. D. I like that name. Dr. D. Dr. D. I think she thinks it's Uncle D. She forgot. Uncle D. I mean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we old people, you know. Yeah, that makes sense. Got to take our vitamin D. Right? Yeah, that's uh, coming. It's all on the same page now. I tell you. How you doing, Doctor D? <laughs> doctor. I, I kind of Doctor like Fabaga. Doctor Fabaga. Uncle D, isn't it? Uh, you Uncle brought D. it. Let's. Say, what do you want to do first? I don't care. You. You. you we. Uh, whatever. Go ahead. What Whatever, do do Dean. First? Well, anyway, um, I predicted a large wasp, like the world's largest wasp on this show. Where did it happen? I well, mean, you heard it, of it. Ha- it's on the internet. It's on the internet. Yeah, <laughs> it's on the internet. So and, are, uh, uh, just, just, just so you know, so are uh, pictures of me with a good body. <laughs> oh, can I see them? No, because it's <laughs> okay. not mine. Oh, so what okay. I'm saying is it's Somebody not real. Somebody put them on the internet? Come on, Nikki. Wow. What's the deal with the white Anglo-Saxon Protestant? Well, oh, is that what you're saying? Well, <laughs> the world's largest wasp was found in the world. In the world? Yeah. Where? Where? Do you know I mean, where? in Indonesia. Yeah. Really? Huge wasp. Like it, it's there was one in my, in my condo the other day. It freaked really? me right out. Really? Yeah, it was like the size of your head. Yeah. I swear to God. Well, this is, this. okay, this wasp is two feet yeah. Okay. And its head and jaws were bigger than its feet. Get out of yeah, here. Yeah, it's it's on the internet, huge, and I predicted it on this show. And oh, oh, guess what I found? Guess what I found? What? In under news. What? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimate news. Oh, okay. Google. Um, I also predicted that a transgender would enter a beauty you contest. Did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Right here on this show. Yeah, you did. I you did. did. Oh, there's something yeah. else. Too and it's in the US week. tabloid as well. Yeah. And there was a lot of other things I predicted. Oh, well, there's a lot of good job. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't understand. It, I'm, I'm looking for large wasps. Okay, I'm going to find it. It's on it, my Blackberry. It, is it? Yeah, Uh-oh. one of one this of your listeners one of your listeners sent it in. And it was all, it was all over the news. The giant wasp. Did he have a huge pecker? Well, he had a huge oh, everything. Oh, monstrous king of the wasps That's discovered right. in Su- Sulawesi. Yeah. Two and a half inches long. Inches. Right. Did you just say feet before? Well, two and a half inches is a foot, isn't it? No, that oh. you're oh. retarded. Oh, my oh. gosh. <laughs> yeah, that, maybe that's what you've been telling your boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what, what you, boyfriends? That's what your boyfriends have been telling you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. she's, been, she's got some bad information on penis size. <laughs> anyway, the You know what I found out the big. other day? It's a true story. Yes. My, my, uh, my girlfriend emailed me and she said, uh, you know, the average penis size is between 5 and 5.7 inches. Really? Yeah. Wow. That is small. That's very small. It should be about 10 or 12 inches. Yeah, which in your case would be 24 feet. (laughs) (laughs) And still not enough to fill you in. Oh, thanks a lot. (laughs) I'd probably drown. Oh, Walter. (laughs) Thanks a lot. You'd probably drown? What? Well, you know, something that big has some stuff in it. And no. that's going to be a lot when oh, it's a 24-foot dog. Oh, yeah. do we have a clip of that? <laughs> yes. Which one? <laughs> what? Well, As a matter of fact, I do. I actually have a clip of that. It's of, almost uh, like Nikki. a snake. I have a, yeah. Almost. Almost like, like, a, like a snake. snake yeah. A large snake. Like. That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a clip of it. It's crazy. I, I Have you heard this a clip? A clip of what? Yeah. Um, this guy. Yeah. Um... That you're that you were with the last guy you were with. <laughs> what? Get down! Get down! Oh, oh, open your mouth! Open your mouth! I don't think oh, I've been with a guy oh, since 1895. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what happened? Extra glaze. <laughs> he was just helping up the stairs. There. Yeah. Oh, oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you what? know that. That's fun. I like that. What are you I like talking those jokes. about? <laughs> you know, I you have, I have a, what else you got? I have a prediction about Europe cracking in half. Oh, really? Europe's going to crack in half? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's cracking in half, and it's going to be an explosion at the South Pole. Hmm. Heather Locklear. Is it Locklear? Yeah, yeah. Locklear. Yeah, yeah, she's in 
bad. She's trouble. all messed up her, yeah, her head, yeah. right? Like, she got all like crazy. She's like another Lindsay Lohan. Like, I see bad things You happening. think she might commit suicide? Well, I don't want to say that. She yeah. Like, yeah I, but I, 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 I don't feel good about hey, it. Hey, she doesn't want to say that, but pretty sure, yep, she's going to. I don't feel very good about it. Is she going to? Is she going to offer? Is she going to drink her? Is she going to pull a Houston away to Houston? Well, you know what? I I don't like to talk about that. I like to block out death. You brought it up. I know. I know. But (laughs) I had a dream about it the other night. So hopefully she will be okay. But I don't think so. Say, speaking of dreams. Oh, yeah. I had a dream about you. Uh, yeah, you told me. Uncle D. Right there. What, well, Dr. D? Yeah, Dr. <laughs> Are you sure it was me? Uncle D, yes. Okay. I dreamt that you had a television show like Richard Krauss. And oh, you, yay. Yay. <laughs> and we were all there as your assistants. I don't even know who that is. Yeah. He's well, he has. Hilarious. Yeah, he yeah. has uh, actually. Uh, Did you have any other dreams? Yeah, that, that was a big dream. I see mm. you with a television show about doing your blind movie reviews. Yeah, it was good. And movies, too. What else? Okay, now I see sea levels are going to rise, okay? This is in the second half of the year. Uh, now, believe me, the second half of the year is going to be so kind of weird, honestly. And, like, you see Lake Ontario out there? Yep. No. Well, it could go what? right over to Young Street. <laughs> There's a lake. Really? Yeah, like I see water Are you going. serious? Yes. I see, like, a, a, a little tsunami happening. Really? Yeah. Well, we, <laughs> we're pretty close to the water. Yeah, dude. Uh, Street, that doesn't kind of bode well for right us. You, you better run now. We'll end up in the old studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to go like this. So I think yeah. what will happen is there's going to be a giant earthquake in the U.S., yeah. which will affect us here. Like, it could be Washington, New York, all those areas. And then we'll get a little wave we'll coming up here. We'll get a little wave. It's not going to kill everybody. <laughs> Just the unlucky. Wow! One. Not to worry. Yeah, but I'm bringing it, my water wings into work. Yeah, because they'll yeah. probably evacuate people before from this building here. Probably, like well, just the you know the better whole. work on our evacuation plan. You hear that up there? All you people, <laughs> let's try it right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go. go. Man, <laughs> okay, see you later, guys. Have a good weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Help! I'm out of here. I'm Muskoka bound. <laughs> ha. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, you stay here. Watch the whole yeah. fort down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So so I I make sure everybody you. gets out okay. You know what? Because yeah. I'm a thousand years old, I yeah. probably survive all of that. You'll just get on yeah. your little broomstick and fly away. That's right. <laughs> I don't think my broomstick would, you know. I don't want to know survive. about your broomstick. I don't. Uh, I've got a broomstick. Excuse me. What? I don't have a broomstick. It's stuck to you. Oh, thanks a <laughs> lot. A broomstick? Where? <laughs> Where? You tried to get it off. <laughs> God. <laughs> now, Dean, I know you don't like hearing about giant things, right? No, it's actually these guys I could care less. Yeah, but I see a giant zebra in Africa. Okay, I'm t- I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm getting it. And Why it's are you over- sorry? <laughs> yeah. Like, is it, is it have fangs? It's over is it 100 spit poison? feet tall. Oh, a come zebra. On. Yes. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> She's doing Nikki math again. Don't worry. That's only like 11 inches. Okay. <laughs> Ten hands tall. It's actually the smallest zebra in the world. <laughs> no, it isn't. Todd. It's okay. A, anyway, you'll okay, see it. Okay, 100-foot zebra. What else? You'll see it on the you internet. Do you know how big 100 Let's feet go. is? Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's like a building. Hey, hey okay. numb nuts. Okay. Enough. Let's okay. go. Okay. Not you. Now, the, you. now, now there's going to be a new trend, okay? When people get their picture taken... Like, they can get a picture with half their face on it, and the other half, sh- half shows them when they're 40 years older. So half would be now, and half would be 40 years from now. How do you feel about that? Uh, yeah. Would you want to see yourself 40 years from now? My cousin rides horses. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> horses? <laughs> I like Alvin. <laughs> what does that have to do with the photography thing? Oso buco. Oh. <laughs> butterflies. Oh. I love butterflies. <laughs> There's actually going to be an invasion of butterflies this summer. Oh, are there? Stress oh, from right. South America. Keep going. Just okay. spit them out. Okay. Now, there's going to be a huge, huge earth or tornado and earthquake in Chicago and a tornado in Missouri. Huge. Really? Yeah. Now, I see... A cannonball. Or cannonball. Yeah, like like cannonball, right? What are you doing? Cannibal or no cannonball? No one said anything. A cannonball. I, I, I see a cannonball. Eating I, cannibal? people. I eating, a, eating people. Oh, cannibal. <laughs> cannibal, like eating people. Yeah, in the U.S. So. <laughs> I see a cannonball a eating cannibal. people. A cannonball. Cannibal. <laughs> it's quite a cannonball. Pac-Man. I see them shooting cannibals out of cannons. Okay, now. And people and cannonballs eating people. It's, how do you pronounce it? Cannonball? 
Um, <laughs> yes. Whatever you like. Yeah, cannonball. Yeah, like, cannonball. Like, I see, At this I see point, that, like, you here's know. how you pronounce it. You ready? Yes. Dementia. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> That's not for me. Yeah. I see a cannonball. It cannonball? <laughs> cannonball, right? Cannonball? It's cannonball. cannonball. No, I know. No, cannonball. And it's going to eat people. Cannonball, whatever cannonball. the hell. No, it's going to eat, eat people. Seltzer <laughs> or salsa? Seltzer water. Salsa or salsa? <laughs> what was I talking about? It's going to be... A- <laughs> <laughs> Someone crapped my pants. <laughs> now, there's going to be a U.S. politician who becomes a missionary. Yeah. Position. Yeah. Kennedy Airport, I'm really, like, I'm getting these terrible dreams about Kennedy Airport, okay. and I see danger there. Okay. Huh. And I do see a plane crashing into a control tower. That's not good. Mm. Good aim. Now, I said that would be the f- the first full Yeah, I imagine it would be hard to do. Yeah. Like, I was impressed when they crashed into the World Trade Center. I mean, yeah. that is some flying <laughs> to be able to hit those things or that thing. Now, but if you, if, you can, if you can take out a control tower, that's even smaller. Oh, yeah. That is impressive. That's even worse. Yep. Now, I'm getting, a, like, I said there would be... It's a- not worse. I don't know if it's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are mixing me up today. Yeah, right. well, Why is it even worse? Us. I don't know I if there will be thousands the- of people <laughs> dying in the, in the small control tower. I mean, I it won't be great, but I don't think it's... And none of the other planes could land. You know what? Yeah. I, see. I don't think it's worse than one of the terrorist, worst terrorist attacks of all time. Listen, yeah. listen. I, that could kill like four people. Are you serious? Are you kidding spill, me? He might spill his coffee on the, like the guy in Top Gun. What a travesty. What a travesty. Maverick. Okay, guys, you know what? I see what? three Ds. D, 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 dementia, 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 sane. You, no, you, yeah. you see, you see, um, you're not talking right now, so you're getting mad at us. Oh, okay. That's right, isn't it? Probably. Okay. Okay, now, <laughs> now I see two 90-year-old twins running yeah. a marathon. That's all awesome. <laughs> you're yeah. You're talking about your boobs. What else? Yes, <laughs> coming, coming. Take now, also, doctors are going to go on strike. <laughs> doctors are going on strike? Yeah, I see a new micro- microwave oven. Um, it only puts, it makes food in 12 seconds. Wow. So you put your finger in there, put the food in there. And so. Hey, yeah. they call it the Rob Fortinator. <laughs> Which brings me to my next prediction. Good. Oh, now, how I weird see, is that? Well, I see the l- largest uh, fat person in the world exploding. <laughs> Spontaneous combustion. <laughs> I, won't I want to be on hand for that. <laughs> that was a great one. I want to be. And she's like, she starts talking about Rob Ford. Oh, I didn't mean anything against Rob That's Ford. Rob. I didn't mean it Why is Rob eating so much he explodes? No, I didn't mean it against him. <laughs> He's I like would, a rat. Look. Dean, everybody deserves uh, no, a hamburger, I, I, I okay? Swear, I, it's everything's... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I swear, I swear, I'm feeling a little bit of pressure. Right now. I, 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 my, my stomach is a lot of pressure. Right now. I, I, I'm like a... <laughs> Just a minute. He deserves to have a hamburger oh my God, once I think in a I ex- while, okay? I, 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 I think yeah. I just exploded. <laughs> Why is my head still talking? It's weird. Yeah. I wasn't referring to Rob Ford. I was referring to the... No, we hey, were. Hey, hey, you were. Hey, put me on the scale now. I have like eight pounds. <laughs> I, I, went, I, lost, I lost 350 pounds in five seconds. I won. I won. <laughs> Suck it, Doug. Suck it. <laughs> cut the waist down. Yeah, yeah. Cut, yeah. Up, cut yeah. up everything below my head. <laughs> Explode uh, I, everything. No, no, Explode I, everything challenge. <laughs> I, I think... <laughs> Hey, I want to find my penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. Oh, forget I, it. I don't even know what it looks yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't seen it since I was no, nine. And there it is. Stuck to the wall. I saw it for the first time. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Looks like a little cocktail wiener. Makes me hungry. <laughs> feed my head. Feed my head. Feed, feed my head. Put that on the scale, man. It's like 20 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I do bleed gravy. <laughs> Dean Blundell Show, 102.1 The Edge.